Good evening, everyone. And everyone, uh, remember to go check your laundry, your washing machine. I think it's almost done. You can hear it just, just spinning that last time before. Just, there we go. And then it'll go beep, beep. And then it's done. Now your laundry is done. Ah, so we are back here with uh, day two of, uh, of our satisfactory playthrough. We have managed to not rage quit. And I've also managed to upload an episode to YouTube. So that's pretty good. I'm going to try to do it the same way as I did Dyson Sphere Program. It seemed to work quite well in terms of sort of workload and sort of keeping things uh, in line. So, um, did you order the PC? Yes, Cybri. Well, actually, I didn't order the PC, but I sent a mail back with all my list of changes. And uh, so now I'm waiting for them to get back to me on that. So I did at least take one more step in the right, uh, in the right directions. Is this the same series as will be on YouTube? N yes and no. It's the same world, but I'm basically replaying it for YouTube and just uh, skipping things. What happened to the in-ear phones? Um, I, I needed some new uh, headphones and uh, I also had like a, a giant Bob Ross hair that uh, this kind of served to kind of sort of keep it in check, but we solved one of the problems. But now I don't have any option to wear my in-ear phones. So, it's these uh, big ones instead. I'm not super happy about it, and I will need to get something better, but I don't feel like going back to my uh, iPhone 4S default headphones. I might as well get some proper in-ear in phones, right? Yeah, so. Uh, there is just a single world in Satisfactory. Yes. All four starting locations are on the same world. There's one world, and it's... It's just the one, so it's the same every time you play, unless some time has passed. So, well, that's kind of obvious, isn't it? And let's see. So, um, plan for today. Maybe that's uh, probably a good idea, just to sort of get an idea about what it is we want to do today. Um, I would actually go so far as to say, when it says not sponsored, if anyone is going to ask me, oh, I've been thinking of buying some headphones. Should I buy those? My answer is no. If, if you if you want to wear them and go to the fridge and get refreshments don't don't buy these they suck they absolutely suck in range when I go downstairs I mean if it just falls out then it's fine it's just let's just fall out for a second but it goes like beep beep every time it it loses connection for just a second and I don't think that's strictly necessary so um, just like, all right, I, I can hear the fact that there's no sound in my headphones. So that's probably why you lost connection. You don't have to yell at me for for doing that. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of better things, but this is the one I got. And, uh, I mean, the sound is fine. There's nothing there. That was pretty comfortable as well. So, uh, a <laughs> really long cable, the whole point is I don't want a cable for it because if I have a cable then the first thing I do is just pull my entire PC on the floor because I'm an idiot and start walking away with the the extra long cable in and then you go like then just to get an extra extra long cable like yeah well really down two flights of stairs because well I live in a tower so that's just how it was how it is somewhat <sighs> You can change it to only make the beep. Oh, right. So no music, no sound, just only beeps. I, I'll consider it. <laughs> Max safe cable. Well, <laughs> no, I, I need a wireless cable. Wireless cables seem to be the only safe option for me. So if anyone uh, has a good, uh, some good specs for wireless cables, then uh, I am all yours. All yours. Yep. So, with that, how about uh, jumping into the game? Have you considered factory designer RL? No, I have not, because that's not a job. But if you ask me if uh, I have considered uh, managing a pan-European logistics network, then yeah, been there, done that, and now I'm a content creator. Uh, through like five pair of headphones, so yeah, my most recent ones get staticky when they're low on charge. Ah.
iPods are not great for using on PC. Why not? I mean, I was kind of considering that was an option. Oh! Why do you not hear sound? Because the freaking game crashed when I started loading. That's great. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll try loading it again. A modern BT chip on your PC. I don't know what a BT chip is. It's probably not British Telecom. And I press delete instead of load. Whoops. Nope. Looks like our save game is corrupted. Well, that was fun playing Satisfactory, wasn't it? I can't get it to load the game. <laughs> Usually works three or four. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, we'll try out to save this time. Oh, there are no auto saves. Of course, there are no auto saves. Because, of course, there are no auto saves. Ah. What if I just, instead of going continue, then? Maybe that works. What's wrong? What's wrong is the, the game crashes when I start, when I load a save. Ah, we got a save loaded. Is it the right save? Mm, no. But it'll have to do. I can't get any other save to load, so uh, that's going to be what we have to deal with right now. Let me just get all that one done, and... Ah, oh, there's a lot of windows open. There you go. Alright, so this is not the right save, because uh, this is at the end of my YouTube episode, and not at the end of my Twitch episode. So, we'll have a slightly less build, but... Um, It'll be somewhat the same. Uh, maybe I should have just looked at, explained what we have here. <laughs> well, the thing is I cut some corners on the YouTube part because uh, because I, I didn't care and I could also skip along anyway. So there's a bit of cosmetics here. Anyway, so this is pretty much the same build. And just for anyone who wasn't here yesterday, this is all we did on the stream yesterday. But it looks very nice. What we have, we start at the furthest end. We have two iron ore smelters going in here to make 40 iron plates per, per minute. And then we have the next two here going in and creating 60 more iron ingots. That goes into 45 iron rods. And then goes into these two, the remaining 15, and that becomes like third, uh, 60, no, it's actually in this one, 60 uh, screws per, per minute, and then the next two are going to make biofuel, you can see the biofuel here, and out of wood and leaves, and then we get to be copper wire and copper cable, the one we don't have is copper sheets, and uh, then we, um, that'll take a bit of damage here. And let's see. So that is what it is. It's uh, it's okay. So one of the things that we did not have here, I don't think I have as much research done. Okay. Oh, this it's kind of sucks. I'm gonna go up and see how much we lost. I think we. I think it's maybe like an hour or so. Ah, half an hour. Okay, S not much. We had this one researched. Boop. And... There. That one is not done, but we'll go back and get some screws. We actually could take some of these things out. Hello, Kakayan. Uh, to see if it's loadable. I mean, what can I do? I'm not gonna load it anyway. It just it, I'm fucked anyway. Uh, 
I mean, what 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 are my options, honestly? If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it I can't do anything, right? Maybe somehow the other save got corrupted or something. I don't know. Nothing we can do about it anyway. Um, I'd like to take up 200 just because. Give me 200. <clears throat> Update since the stream that messed up? Well, not necessarily, because um, we don't know if it already was broken when we saved it last time. It could very well be broken, and that was the save process that broke it, and then we just screwed. So we might at any given time reach a point where we are where we are in an error state that we cannot recover from because the game is inherently corrupt, and any attempt to load it will just fail. There is no way of knowing it. Right, I'm waiting for this to go to 200 because reasons. Hello, Corinna. But you know, <clears throat> and it, I'm having it on auto update, so there's not really any reason why something would be different, right? Uh, let's go back and get some iron plating. We're going to need quite a few just to get that Mark II and also to get that. So we are going to get... Yeah, that's probably one of the big things we want to build is making the uh, the iron reinforced iron plates today. And unfortunately, we are going to start by having that one. Ah! I wish I had a save state. I don't know what that means. Curse of early access games, I don't know. I think that the safe game corruption is never, never okay. There isn't, there isn't a, no. There is no excuse for safe game corruption, ever. It's the most important thing. You could deliberately break safe games, but you can't. Yeah. Safe state, well, wouldn't you rather have a load bar so you go into a conversation and go like, oops, did I say that? All right, I just quick load. That's yeah, probably nice. All right, we got 40. When we got 50, we'll turn around and do it. Experimental brands that they say it's unstable. No need to play on that. No, I don't agree. I don't agree. Because there are million steps before they release it to experimental. Experimental is not a carte blanche to uh, say, God, oh, well, whatever, you just don't play on experimental. No, if it's so unstable, you don't release it. It's very simple, and it's fine if it happens, and then you fix it the day after. But Milestone. I am not, I'm not argu buying that. It's a, it's a really shitty argument. It's fine that there are bugs that here and there, that's fine, but save state, no. You are releasing a product to the public. There is no disclaimer that you can put on that makes it okay that it just breaks. Exactly, Mar Marodox. Exactly, it needs to be protected part. It needs to be a... <sighs> should be fit for purpose. Yeah, it should be workable. It's not exactly released. Well, do I fucking play it? Then it is released, all right? Google Meister, what the fuck are you thinking? It's it's released. It is released. It's publicly available. It's not even like you get a special invitation. It's available. Anyone who owns the game can play this. That's released. And I don't mind small bugs, but not save game. If you go like, after this update, you the save game is unfortunately big. That's fine. That's fine. That's a deliberate thing. It's not even enough. That's uh, because we don't have that. Uh, 
Hello, Mr. Me. If you use Agile as an excuse for releasing buggy code, then uh, then you are just you are the worst of the worst. If you call continuous integration just being like, well, that's just releasing without testing, that's not okay. What? It was the screws. It was. Did I use 1,200 screws? Crap. Yeah, I mean, I, I, a crash here and there, that's to be expected, and you get, you, you, I'm, I'm not expecting a, I'm not expecting something as flawless as Dyson Sphere program on an early access, uh, early access branch. And hiding behind early access, I mean, isn't Gmail still in beta? Then let's, let's just say that there's really no reason to, to say a two-year-old game is in early access. Yeah, DSP has, has shown that what, what can and should be done and how it should be done. That is absolutely for sure. But then again, I mean, that's built by Chinese and not by Swedes. So, I mean, what can you expect? <sighs> yeah, everything is early. <laughs> They, yeah, they can't even build future furniture. They just like, I don't know, this this is supposed to be a couch, but you, you do it. I can't figure it out. <laughs> there you go. That should be something. Well, that's a... Uh, I love giving sweets a hard time. Luckily, Swedes are not a stigmatized so uh, group that so uh, and and they uh, they can give as well as they get so um, I think it's fine. <laughs> Big hammer. <laughs> well, I'm I I feel pretty safe from the Swedes because uh, there is not much uh, risk of the of the water freezing over, so I don't think they'll will be invaded this winter. Let's build a few of these. <laughs> it's getting even problems of first world problems. Absolutely. <laughs> Are you enjoying playing the new update? Yes, when I get to play it. But so far, I am uh, retracing my steps because uh, the save game is apparently corrupt. So I have to back up and take an earlier one. Uh, let's get more. Sauna design. Sweets are superior. I would imagine that this, um, that the fins are better at saunas. All right, let's build a few more. We got 90 at this point. That's good. And once you got that, that's enough. Boop. And get that out. All right, so let's go. Whoops. Ah. Work our way through this. And over here, this one is going to be upgraded to Mark II. So we're going to go this one and get this E, Mark II. Huh? Doesn't work. It kind of doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. All right, we're gonna have to do it in another way. Good evening, Alephian. And I will get. We have to do this. One, two. Oh, how I absolutely dislike working. Ah, what do you know? Ah. <sighs> 
it happens. It happens again. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not going to start building these when we have them over here. 200. I'll have 200. Thank you very much. I'll have 200 of the cables. So that will never, ever run out again, right? Boom. And I can't build that. Oops. And can I... That's good. Get that one. And get that out of the hand. So we have empty hands. So we can do just hands. And that will be... Oh! We do not have copper sheets uh, research, so that doesn't work. All right, all right. We're going to get that as well. Wish there would be a fast build mode. Yeah, th there are mods for that. Let's get this. Let's get this. We're probably going to use some of this for our next upgrade. Have you ever thought that your corporate job was better than being a country creator? Um... Yes, but then I realized that I know I was an idiot, and then I, uh, I'm back to sanity again. Ah, the ah oh, man. I mean, I have completed the thought, and then I went like, no, 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 you're stupid. Yeah. So no, I uh, do like my. Uh, I I did not like my corporate job, and I absolutely love my job as content creator. I think. Part of it is the act of being content creator, and the part of it is being self-employed. And the combination is just fantastic. But um, I think I would also get a lot of joy from just being my own self, independent. Mm. Is it worth it waiting? I'm going to get 60 per second per minute. Nah, it's not worth waiting. I mean, it looks like they're coming in at a good pace, but then actually not. This is what I remember from last time. Like You always should build... Uh, construction for for screws because you just need so many screws in the beginning. At some point you just stop needing them at all, but that's for now it is. Uh, how much time was lost? About uh, half an hour or so. But the problem is, I don't know what half hour it is. So it's kind of like we were supposed to, re I was just getting started on making copper sheets and then I realized that I can't make copper sheets because I haven't even researched it. Hey, Winamok, thank you for the continuing the gifts up from Tensor Time. And well done, Tensor Time, for, uh, for recruiting someone like Winamok. For yeah, the one battle leg was the belt speed for transporting crews. Yeah, but not in this case. It's actually completely doing. Uh, we need the copper sheets for liquids and for hyper tubes. For tubes and tubes. Oh, I got enough. Yes, to keep us warm. Aha. Trying to cheer you up. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, cheerful. Appreciate it. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Oh. project parts. The elevator. Parts. The smart plating. So before we can get anywhere, that this seems like our objective for today. For the reinforced iron plates and rotors. Modular frames, we don't need that. Rotors, we need this. And copper sheets, we don't know what the copper sheets are needed for, but we'll build them so they're done. Will you start a new DSP world anytime soon? Nope, not anytime soon. I'll do that when there's new content in the game, but so far there is no new content in the game. So. It uh, doesn't make sense for me to restart and just play the same same old thing again. Ooh, we <clears throat> also like we don't have the mem. I can I just realized. So let's build the mem at this location. So that means we need to go through all the research again. Well, most of it is just uh, just take all. There we go. Alien organs. That one. Go. Yep. 
Go. New recipe unlocked. New research available in the MAM. Good evening, Daniel Scott. Nope, there's always been a night day cycle. And let's see, so we can now get to this one. That's a lot of things we don't have. Flower petals, sure. Can we just click it click? Yep, three seconds. As long as it's three seconds, it's fine. Don't want to start anything that's longer than three seconds. Like that one. Mycelia. Yeah, we don't have any nuts. But we can get this one. Also three seconds. Good. And then we need to make some... How is it we make that? It's... I can't remember. Fabric. No inventory space. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, that one, that one, that one are not needed anymore. What else can we get? Nutrients. We'll get that one. Boop. New object added to the object scanner. Got it. Power slug. And then the underclocking is the one is the one we actually want to spend time on. Flower petals, which one was it? That one is a three second. Okay, so let me just get 10 of these. There we go. And that's here. Parachute, I am safe. If I remember to build some, of course, but. Ta da! And then on the power slug. We'll do that one. That's the one that takes five. Good. We are now all caught up on all that you wanted here. So let's get that one. Oh, yeah. Because that's also a thing. <laughs> uh, oops. How come something is green down there? Oh, it's just a draw distance. You hit it, try to step back until it spits, then repeat. Ah. But doesn't it shoot you then? Yep, get it. And this one, get it. That's a bit much. Good. And nope, this one. And wood. That one. Cool. So we are now freshly updated. Ah, look at that. We've also, like, uh, I haven't done any of the really general cleaning here in this area. Uh, okay, I might try that uh, and see how I can butcher that. It's actually really weird that this uh, ran out. Isn't it? I, it feels like it. You did an overclock. Uh, overclock and underclock is the same. It's called overclock, but it allows you to underclock. The research is called overclocking, but um, yeah, it allows you to underclock. It's kind of gloomy. And that's it. Switch it on. Uh, let's see. Wonder if this one four per minute is actually the correct number, or that's the sort of the number if it's running at hundred percent. Let's see. Are there any red ones here? No. I think we got all of them. Cool. Let's get a few one. Yeah, we'll we'll get the lights, but that's really not at all very important right now. 
We got the power no longer adapts to adapt to consumption. Well, actually, it is for, for biofuel at least stated. It should be still adapting to it. So, uh, otherwise, it would be a horrible idea to do what I did. Okay, that could be just picked up like this. We might as well just pick up a lot of things before we go back. Yeah, biofuel is still the same. Yes, please. Hopefully it is. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> well, a good reason to rage quit is when save games get corrupted. So, I mean... It's not going to be many times of, of me starting a, a streaming session and just seeing my save game from last time is corrupted, then I'll go like, no, nah, you know what, I think I'll pass on this. So that's a, that's a very uh, finite number of times I'll accept that. I kind of got lost, didn't I? No, nope, not really. I'm still here. There you are. feel guilty about deforestation, but trees are evil. How can you feel guilty about that? We're not at a full inventory yet. Ooh, more bacon. Maybe they made the night a bit darker because they probably made it lighter than they wanted it. Oh, than they wanted it to be when there wasn't any option to do anything else. Okay, we're gonna go up, and that should be five minutes. Yeah. All right, five minutes. Yes, indeed. I thought there was something like there would be a warning for this. Now we can overclock with the uh, shots. That's great. Is there anything else we want to do? Nope. Uh, what is this? Um, whatever. That's probably just a scanner or something. What is the next research we want? We don't really want any of these, do we? Well, we can get this one. This should be simple enough. We're going to get all of them anyway. So let me get some... All of this is now wasted, by the way. This one is no longer, and this is no longer, because now I'm redirecting the belt, so... Let's see what this one has to offer. Eh, that's probably more than I need. Going back. That's just a lot of running back. Yep, lights are in the shop. Someone confirmed it earlier, or at least stated it, so whether that's a confirmation or not, it's certainly... And go. Resource sink. And that's the last one we need, just to make sure. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to Oops. develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Uh, Alright, so this is done. So that extra Real wet spaghetti. Awesome. Thank you. And welcome. Okay, so that's the... There. I think the most interesting one is the... Um, Alright, kill this one. Uh, the most interesting aspect is actually the colored lights. So it's going to be really interesting to see that. Alright, so we are going over here. We have these three empty ones. They will need two smelters. One and two. And that will go to... Okay, so it'll be split, and it'll be 
split and then it'll be okay that was it okay we need to remember what is merge and what is split there and that's the merge cool so it goes from here to nope it does not what the hell's wrong splitter oh someone misplaced this one haha -ha. that happens whoops Try again. That one was correct. In. Inbound. And into the merge. From the merge in here. You go there and you go there. Good. And that one. Good. Then this will be copper and copper. And this will be sheets. Sheets and sheets. Sheets being 20 per minute. So three of those is 60 then I'll go out here I can kill you because you have no place no business being here and Our hey Smeagol thank you for the tier 3 wow that's so generous of you tier 3 for 19 months that is super generous thank you and good to see you just dropping by or also interested in uh, satisfactory and here we have our uh, always 90 degrees no exception I mean when we know what we want to build then the build speed is pretty okay goes that one from here to here, in that one, and and then it should connect to here. Good. Now we miss the last bits that is going to be from this. All right, so that works. And then I need to. Well, all of this is gone now. I think I heard that they enable daisy chaining power between buildings, so you don't. I have not heard of that. Um, I doubt it because I don't know how that would uh, be built. Um, each of those only have one point, so I don't know how that would that would work. Uh, what's new? Lots of stuff is new. It's actually a bit. Over, it's overwhelmingly a lot of new things. It's going to come back to the same. I, I've, I've had this argument before that I think that I would much rather have more often smaller releases than those massive once a year release or... Yeah, when, I don't know. When was... Um, the last... Update update three was summer, or was it April, or what was it? When was it? It was definitely a long time ago. Okay, so everything is kind of working. I just need another splitter here. This one will be getting the copper in, and then it'll go. It'll get 120 copper in, and then it'll go there. 60 on either side. That means this one has to be a. And then I'll do. Mark two, and this one also Mark two. And this one goes out. Oh, Q is not what I think it is. And then we do this one and again, Mark two, upgrade and build too long, right? Yeah. That should be a Mark II belt, is it? Yeah, it's not exactly fast, but it's only Mark II. All right, so that should give us all the all the stuff. So 120 comes in, gets split. 
60 on the other side, two full slow belts get split again. I think I've set the recipes, otherwise they would be red. I just thought about it. What about using that one? Yes, good idea. Okay. And then we should, all the way over here, see that we are getting some sheets into this location. What is this? Ah, oh, it's cables. Cables should be firing out up again. And the blueprints yet? Oh, hello, love from. Nope, not yet. No blueprints. But they have drones very, very late, so that's that's a thing. Yay, sheets. We are not going to use sheets for anything for a very long time. All right, so I think that we have basically our hub built here. This is our, this is the one we always built, basically. The one thing I'd like to have is actually having the stone bricks up here as well, but yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll guess I'll do it. So, it's done. All the iron products, all the copper products, and some fuel as well. Now is the next part. What are we going to do as the next part? Um, actually, one of these are probably wrong. Oh, can I? No, I can't land on something safe. Ow. I want to, I want to see if this one is a pure. It's a pure. Okay, so I can actually kill this one. Don't need it. Don't need it. Uh, don't need it. Don't need it. And don't need it. And don't need it. Because this one can actually, if it's, see, this one can produce 120 if it wants to, but it's not allowed to. So I can go. Oh, uh, really, it should be different. Right, it should be different. I'll just do that. Why did we not consider this when we build it? It'll just look so much nicer if it comes in here. And that one's also off. We're going to do the same as we did for the copper as well. Here. And that one as well. Okay, so. Point it towards me. That's extremely bright. There. Okay. And point it towards me, yes, here. And then I need this one pointed. I have no idea where it's pointing. Okay, wait, here, that one. And that will then be Mark two belts going in. And all right, so point is, now we can just grab this one and make it into a Mark two belt. One, need to get that there, and need more reinforced iron plate. Uh, that's kind of obvious. That one, that one, and is that Mark II? It would be nice if I could see it dismantling foundation. Dismantling what? Dismantling belt Mark II. Okay. So what I need now is just a few Mark II belts. And then we should be good. And I can build this one. I can build this one. Cool. Let's go grab some more. Guessed it. Some more screws. And then that's going to be scroll down. Number seven here. And... Reinforced iron plates. Shift. <coughs> Sorry. I know my flashlight is on, but otherwise you will be yelling at me every night going like, turn on the flashlight. So it's on always. Don't have a choice. <coughs> Remember reinforced plates what we do really okay well it gets easier and easier <clears throat> I 
I, I really shouldn't have started this uh, or checked this current milestone. Maybe I'll just have to build it just to get rid of it. Get it this up top right hand corner. I automated, of course, but I've got the need. I, I need to make this done and make sure that it is working because the first thing we're going to say when we start making reinforced iron plate is where am I get the iron from? And the answer to that is I'm getting from the iron mine that I've just freed up because I've consolidated the other iron mine. So I'm actually working my way towards it. That's kind of what I do. Now, how are we going to do this? Any uh, any suggestions on how we should do it? Because usually I just go like, mm, that's the place. And then I build a platform and then that's it. And then we're happy. And then after 200 hours, I have like a million platforms, all sorts of weird places. And I go like, I don't know what's going on anymore. Um, I kind of wanted to build like one giant tower. But if I do, then it's not going to be right here. It's just going to be a bit later on. Because I don't think it makes sense to do it here. On the other hand, it could also just make sense to make it here and just go, yeah. <clears throat> and just go take this one and just go one up and go, yeah, that's that's probably where we get it then. All right, so switch to our logistics and switch to E number that one. <clears throat> I could have actually just made it Mark 1 and then upgrade to Mark 2. Then it would at least have worked a bit. <coughs> ah, annoying. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so we also actually can free up the next one, uh, the one up here, this iron deposit as well. I'm making my 90 degree belts always, always, without an exception when building on foundations. But I'm not going to do it without foundations because it's 100% impossible. Ah. Yeah, Spatial Vader on top doesn't work because <clears throat> it kind of stops being useful at some point and then you kind of have to move it up. It is kind of the Space Elevator I need. Mm. Basically, we want to make... I, I think before I actually do that, I need to take a save for this. I, I kind of I kind of want to just build it like seven tiles up there we go there are no mods for the experimental I mean if there are then I don't know I'm not using mods yeah I know, I know Claudio but the the thing is like when you tap one of these it's pure that means I can get 120 it would be stupid not to build 120 consumption right now that's kind of where I'm I'm going to like, okay, if I'm going to build it, then I'm going to build it for 120. And of course, when I get better miners, better belts, then I could scale it up. But let's see. <clears throat> Not much. You didn't miss much because I had to replay a lot. A lot. <sighs> Uh, let me just let me just think. Maybe it doesn't really matter. I can take it from here and I can build it here and I can just throw it a bit up. I'll do that. I'll just uh, first I'll save because there. Maybe maybe that save would work. I don't know. I hope. Oh, 
Oh, we're definitely going to need some more for this. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, this is <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How do we get up there? bit it's a bit much isn't it this one I mean I can't get up here but it's also kind of annoying you know what Th this thing here just go away yeah no box of shame yet nice okay now we get boxes of shame Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome hey welcome back Jasset Thank you for 24 months. That's two full years of support. Thank you. All right, so that's our first iron miner. And this one will be the one we, we're we going to start with. And I'll probably have a lot of this in the way. Uh, does this seem important? Not at all. Not one bit. Does this seem important? Uh, nope, not at all. Does it seem like I've disconnected my entire factory? Yes, it does seem like. Does it seem like I'm one of these annoying people who ask questions, rhetorical questions for themselves? Yes, it certainly would seem so. Damn it. Alright, looks like we actually need to make the rotors so we can get the jump pads. I love my, them jump pads. Yeah, FX, uh, the answer is kind of. It's the same as Dyson Sphere Program. Power shard. The fact that it says one just gets me. Oh no! It's more of those stupid. Oh no! Ah. Tomsky, thank you for the Twitch Prime and welcome. You with determination. Getting screwed. <laughs> and you go away. There. How many do you get? 26? Can I make? Parachutes, we are safe. I'm gonna need it when I go up. <laughs> oh, that one and that one. More of that. And we need 50 of these awfulnesses. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I got a plan. I got a plan. Ah, yes, it's a good one. We are building copper sheets, but we don't have anything to use the copper sheets for. So why don't... Ah, oh, man, 400? That's pathetic. Um, why not use the copper sheets to throw into the awesome sink? No. It takes 30, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put that down here. I, I felt that there was something growling. There was something growling. heard it that's also a lot of iron here oh there you go hello where are you ow oh well I don't know if this one I heard but now I'm not hearing anything Okay, just clean out this area. Oh, it might be one of those big ones. Uh, the big giraffe, space giraffes. What? Oh, is our inventory full already? Mm. Oh, these. Keep going.
just clearing out some shrubs and also making sure that as we activate the the awesome sink awesome sink will be what oh hello berries oops that was not working hmm. and I guess I will get I specifically did this so I wouldn't have be standing in the middle of shrubs shrub shrub leaves Boop. and there good now this one one two three one two three I'm not sure this is correct I mean I'm pretty sure it's not correct but it doesn't matter and I will now Awesome sink. Yeah. Mm, I don't know where it's supposed to be, so I think I need. This one. What is that for? Purely for alignment. That's uh, our alignment thing, just to get a blue line. There it is. No way I would have guessed that would be the blue line location. Now this is of course going to suck if we uh, actually nude some of this, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I don't know if this is even worth anything, but yeah, it is what it is. It's what we have. Invalid. Oh, right. Uh, Right, woohoo! Tickets. I think the idea would be like a splitter or something, so you split it around here. Yeah. Yeah, we just need we just need a little trickle of tickets, I guess. And then we can... Okay. So what else do we... What is the next thing we want to do? We can go down to this one and make sure that we get everything up here. Boop. Got it. That's a lot of concrete. Hmm. This guess is respawns. <clears throat> oh, did I take that one? Yeah, I did. I did. Doesn't matter. Okay, so what I want now is going to get more of the beloved screws ah there yeah but I'm not gonna go out to this crash sites just yet because there are some. Th it's no point in going out to the crash sites unless you have an expectation that you will also be able to get some of the resources from the crash site. And right now, I don't really feel I have that option to a very large degree. I don't have a lot of things unlocked that I could get. Um, okay. Don't have one of those. Nutrients, don't have that. Mycelia, that one is, don't have that. Flower petal, I could do this one. But I don't want to use my precious, precious cubes on a color gun right now. Yeah. Yeah, it might be time for doing a sort of an expansion of sorts. Can you craft beacons yet? No, I cannot. It's uh No, that I can't. Alright, so <clears throat> Yeah, so the reason why I want this jump pads is because that'll allow me an option to go up. The reason why I want the um, the awesome sink is because I need some tickets to get some uh, of the, some of the walkways, the skywalks. 
Oh, shoot. I... Yeah, I wanted to make rotors. Thank you. Oops. Why, well, I can make 17 because someone used all of the stuff. Ah! Yeah. Oops. And a tiny card. Nope, not that one. Don't want that one. Yeah, we're going to take a break. I think I'll set this up to handcraft <laughs> a few things during uh, the break. Hey, Sigur Sanctoris. Sanctoris, thank you. Another month, another set of perfect factories. Well, let's see. Love you, constant. I hope to, to be supped for many more months. Well, you know what? I hope so as well. Thank you. Very kind words. Yeah, let's get a few of these. All right, I am going to take a short break, and then we'll be back in two minutes. Then at least we'll have two minutes of crafting this. So... Thank you for joining, and uh, then we'll get started on sort of a raised platform with uh, for for the reinforced iron plates. Cool. See you guys in two minutes. Oh, save. We'll do that when we come back. All right, welcome back. Thank you for your patience. Let's get all the right overlays up and running and let's <laughs> try one more time. And build rotors and still not even close. 27, I wonder what, uh, it's still gonna be this one we run out of. Wow, rotors. <clears throat> I wanted to call it five though. So I call it 5.0. What are the rotors for? The rotors are for the jump pad research and also just generally, just because reasons. Just so we can say, all right, we've done all the research, but there's actually, I think it also is, don't you need rotors for the assemblers? I think so. there that's 44 and trampolines are for what did you see that I'm building a sky platform so we're gonna be trampolining up there until we have a better solution and then I think okay so if there's a mod available sky platform for reinforced plates or exploration which one first uh, can we, if we can get a mod to make a one minute vote on that, then uh, we'll uh, we'll go with that. So build or explore is basically the question. If there's a mod available, of course. Yay! 51. Boop. And I blow them all on something as useless as this one. And now I can't do any more research. Several buildings there. aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. 
Caution is recommended during use of these products. Build or explore. Absolutely. Build or explore. The Chilenial. <laughs> nice. Uh, thank you for the subscription and welcome to the community. Oh, they were improved. Okay. <sighs> okay. Just so you know, voting does not consist of just yelling in chat. I don't care what people are yelling in chat. The only thing I care about is the result of the vote. Build or explore. Vote now. The vote is up. You can vote one or vote two with uh, on mobile. And I want to see if uh, E, no, Q, production. That one goes into spot number four. And that requires, yeah, 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 yeah. So this does require some rotors. So we do need some rotors here. There's a seems to be an overwhelming uh, majority that wants us to uh, wants us to build, which is fine. Your wish is my command. Oh, I, that's one too many. go that should be good and I'll take all my that one back in here and this one and this one and this one and yeah that one as well cool did this one get any builds no <coughs> Can you make assembly machines and assembly machines? Nope, you can't. That's not how it works. All right, looks like it's going to be a build. And that means we now can and want to. Our illustrious champion. Mr. Tenacity Psycho, thank you for the seven months. We are going to go here. So build it is. It's not even, it's, it's actually a really fair vote it doesn't even it has not even been swayed when the most has been spelled is atv rager with ten thousand points then it's not even that overwhelming All right i have eight coupons that's not much i'll get him good and let's build the other one here hey thank you Bartek, for build and let's see what is it we i want to go here for special an awesome shop and i am <coughs> Missing screws. I mean, if we want to summarize anything today, then it's going to be missing screws. There. That's a few. Is there room for it here? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so light control panel and floodlights and indoor lighting and street lights and factory ladder. Ooh, nice ladders. Uh, I kind of want that one. Ooh, that costs six. That's expensive. Um, this is the one I want the most. So, I don't know. What am I pressing here? Check it out. Oh, they have. <laughs> we'll also get those expanded foundation things. Railings, ladders. Sure, 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 sure. Let's get this one. What are we going to do? Buy? And what do we then go here? Buy all? Yeah, sure. That's the one I wanted. Ah, oh, these are nice. When we get there. Eventually we want all of them, obviously. Oh, there's also some good ones here. Like that one as well. Oh, that's actually... That's within reach. So buy it and buy it. That's a lot of clicks. Good. So we got those schematics. Cool. I really dislike the awesome shop. Oh, I think it's really good. I like it. I think it's a good idea. I think it's also a convenient way for them to just go like, we can always add more if we like. And I think that's a that's always a good thing. 
This one is on a normal, so it can't go any faster. Okay. <clears throat> that means we now have the one thing we needed for this part. Yeah, it's a perfect place to burn your extras. Absolutely. Uh, I do have a lot of this. It's of course under organization. No, it's foundation. It's logistics. Logistics? No. Transportation. Ha ha. Jump pad. Love it. Oh. Oh. What? But, but, what, what, that, uh, what if I want the one that goes up? How, how? It doesn't do that. It, it just rotates it. So you can no longer use it for going up anymore. Hmm. That sucks. Ah, okay, cool. I like the fact that they have added that. Okay. see if it works the fact that I have to go from the inside is not great. Well, now we're here. Now what? <laughs> I guess this is our home now. I actually decided whether it's a good idea to build the big ones or should I build the small ones? Ah no, I think the big ones are easier to manage. We'll make so many changes that um, the, our first build will look awful anyway, so... one <laughs> so oh no there's a giant moth flying through my base already <laughs> so what are we building up there uh, a prison I think it's very nice the the getting back up there it's not my first time falling off a of a building in this game <laughs> And it's probably not my last one either. There's somewhere I'm missing, isn't there? Do we think that's... 
I don't know. Is that a decent space to have for this? Cool. So, this is where we go. So, we are going to get this iron or that one. One of those. Probably this one. Maybe. Who knows? Okay, so let's see. What is it we want? We want to make here. Oh, right. Four. There we go. That's the one. Reinforced iron plate. So 30 of these is 45 per, per minute. Uh, one screw is, can I see the recipe? And it's f divided by four. So if I'm taking 60, that's 15 per second. So one of these is consuming 60 iron per second, per minute. So we're gonna get two of those. So all of this is just leading into two buildings of this type. Which is good because I can only build I cannot even build one I cannot even build I cannot even build two. Okay. Why not? Actually because I'm missing one. Oh why am I missing one? Because apparently Apparently my this one takes two. Good. So I can put you out ah uh, there. Take you out, get that, and put it next to you. Good. So that's how many we need of these. And whoop, copy, paste. And I now need 60 iron plates per minute. 60 iron plates it should be easy enough to do. Just uh, right now we're just doing it in terms of scale. So let's see, that one is, I oh, just built a like awful random thing. One, two, three. Yes, 20 each. Easier to click. So that will be 33, so that means three, one smelter each. I'm actually starting, even though I didn't want to, then I'm already starting to do the design here. Here. And then the other part is, this is taking 60 screws per minute. So that means it's exactly one belt. 60 screws per minute is 15. So that means I need Oops. I'm just going to make one space between them so I'm clear on this one, two rods and rods. And that will be just a single smelter here for both of these. Right here. After this, I will get 15 plus 15, that's 30 outbound. And I can already see that I will go. One more over. And then I'm going to take this out. And then we'll have here. One. What? Cables. Cables. Freaking cables again. Um, this time I'm gonna build enough. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> I don't know what's with cables. I think it's the fact that they are not really used for many things and then they're used for a ton of things anyway, but they're kind of hidden. Like every one of these takes just a few. Okay, so what I wanted these to be done is that one is taking 10 per second, a minute, 10 per minute, and 10 per minute. 
So that's 30 per minute, which is exactly the same as the two previous one producing. This one will give us 40 per minute, and then I'll have to split this into two. There, there, and that will go, one will go into one, and the other one will go into the other. So now the question is, how do I build this? So it's kind, of, it's kind of obvious that there's a group here for the screws and a group there for the plates. That's good. But how do we get it into one, to these two in the sort of the easiest manner? The easiest would be like one of the builds was in the middle and the other build was on the side and it came in, but that's not working. So I have to get like, get them in from either side. And that means something. Cool. Well, I, the one thing is, I know how much space it's going to take if we say that this is the edge. Do we like this as the edge? I think we like this as the edge. Might as well, right? There's nothing better or worse about any other places as an edge. And it'll just get up here, get split between all of these. It's going to be good. So this is actually the correct place, isn't it? If, if and only if... They're actually built in the middle, are they? That very much looks like the middle. I would not dare run like that in real life. This and get it to there. So these three will give us a total of 60. So, okay, these have to go further out for sure. Also, it's important that the stuff I get out of here cannot be on the one belt. Actually, it can be on one belt. It just has to be on a Mark II belt. So that means I will get, let's put it on one belt, just because, hold on, it is actually middle, nice. So this is the one option and These ones are always super complicated to build. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna need a one of those here and one of those here maybe. This is purely to be able to align this one properly. There. So now it's in the middle here. Good. This is a while, it's a while ago since I built this. Basically, the first one goes in by splitter. Why is it not connected? Oh, it is connected. There. And then it goes over to the other one. But my issue is then how do I get these in here? Oh, that's, that's one of those, that's one of those, right? That's, I think that's one of those. Oh, how I just don't want that. Okay, uh, redo, redo. This one. It's coming from here and it goes, oh, it goes, it does actually, it, is it really accurate? Nice. Oh, that is so lucky. again here move one in and then ah oh it has to be one up ah okay Well, that's not exactly correct, is it? Not exactly correct. I 
I am not particularly good friends with these assemblers. It's been always been my bane to try to align these correctly. All right, so we know it's going to be here. All right, I got it. Except now it's not aligned the other way. Here? Maybe. Whew. Well, that was easy. <laughs> hey, Rexha. Rexha, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Can you put splitters on top? No, you can't put splitters on top of anything. All right, so what I want here is a merge at this location. Which will then go... And this one will then be a splitter. And a merger. This one does not need to go up. It just needs to go straight into one more of these. Which will be aligned like this. And then pulling it back until it gets a blue line. There we go. That means this one straight in. This one. One, two, straight in. Is it better for this one to go up or the other one to go up? Doesn't matter, one of them has to go up. And that's going to be that. And then there's room for a drone port here. Make it uniform by splitting in the air. I don't get what the point of that would be. Oh yeah. Um and that's the splitter that has... There. So it comes... It has to be a Mark II belt. It goes from here to here. And then it doesn't need to be a Mark II belt anymore. It'll just be a good old Mark I belt going from here to here. From here to here. Because it's only going to be 60 from this lane to that one. You can attach it, yes, but yes, but no. That's been, you've been able to do that for a long time. But and I'll just show you. I'll let them. We'll check if it's changed. Oops. Because there is a problem with it. It doesn't snap anymore. I mean, it snaps to some things. Okay, so it it does snap somewhat. Okay, cool. That goes the wrong way. Of course it does. Okay, so that's kind of what I want, I guess. Is that a... That's a merger. That's good. And... This one's also merging. Inbound. Inbound. And... That actually has to be more because that's 40 plus that's 80. So I'm going to get 80 through this one and 40. So it becomes 120, which is the capacity of the belt going in, splits 30, 60 in there, 60 continues, goes there. This one, I'm oh, just missing a few belts. Easy peasy. This is the part that we get seasick from. Uh, yep, splitting, splitting. Alright, so this is 20 plus 20 plus 20. That's going to be split, so it's 20 plus 10. 30 going in here. And the same as this one, 30 going in there. So that'll be exactly what we need for this one. And boop. Good stuff. 
And then all we need is an outbound. That will be good. And I'm very glad that you do the stuff like the way you do. I feel kind of relaxed while watching your masterclass and DSP content. Thank you very much. Ah, thank you, Lictor. That I appreciate it. That's a, that's a nice compliment that you feel relaxed. I think that's that's nice. I mean, if yeah, I I I like that. It's. I'll take that as a nice compliment. Because what it what it also says what it also doesn't say is equally important, right? Someone who is super hype and just over the top will not make you relaxed. You can be more entertained for sure, but it will definitely not be more relaxed. And I'd rather have relaxed than. Uh, I know. One does not rule out the other, but you know. I think there are a lot of YouTubers who would never hear the word relaxed about uh, their content. So I think that's nice. So what I want to do is actually I want to build here. No, nope, wrong way. Actually, I want to split up because I want to store things in this location but I also think that the other part is probably this is probably the best place to make our what's it called uh, the awesome sink putting this one in cool so we've actually built everything we need except the rest of it oh right uh, this one will be split one thing though that is um, that I'd like to know about sort of when what we do here is can you keep up with all the stuff because I, I feel like I'm not necessarily saying on it all the things like for example this one like why am I putting it exactly like these locations does it make sense do you not care if it makes sense you're just enjoying it anyway or do you hope that I'll explain it in some point and then if I don't then you'll just go like I don't know what's going on but it looks nice If you had the skills, would you like to be a dev in one of those games? No, I would not. <laughs> I would not want to work for... I would not want to work in the gaming industry. I would like to conceptually work in the gaming industry. But that's like I'd like to sort of own a boat. I like the idea of owning a boat. Like just, oh, the open with... The, but the thing is, you're going to spend every weekend just polishing and rubbing and just buying the equipment and paying... The, so the, the thing that you dream about is not the thing that you get. Basically, that's the same thing. Oh, imagine just working in a game and building an amazing game and just being part of it. Yeah, except that's not what you do. You're still, in, still sitting there and figuring out why the crash report is there or why the autosave is corrupt. And it doesn't really, on the day-to-day, -day, it doesn't feel different than if you're building ERP systems because it's the same shit. But the one difference that is there is that you get paid about 20% less than if you did any other development work because you're supposed to love it as a passion. We can always get more developers because pay developers for the gaming industry are willing to be underpaid because, hey, they get to do their passion. So, no. So, um, how's that? From games to tech, my payment up significantly. Yep, better work environment too. Exactly. Um, because if... It is just this, we don't have to pay people so much because they're like, oh, I get to work on the game that I've been playing all my life. Oh. They're like, okay, I guess you're not in a good argue, a good negotiation posi position, right? It's definitely more than 20%. All right, I just didn't want to go like 50%. But I, I've heard 20, it could be more or less. And there's, there's also definitely places where it's not like that. Also, oh, one more thing. Games are notorious for crunch. Plus... People will absolutely hate you. <laughs> like, imagine, like being a developer on CD Projekt Red. I am not. I don't like Cyberpunk for all of the mess it is, but it is 100% not the developer's fault. It is 100% the executives. I can guarantee you the developers have been crying, crying about the state that it was in, and there's someone higher up who just like 
just check it in just get it done just throw that away come on just get it done work over time that, that's definitely not the developers who have been like yeah it's good enough yeah whatever no 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 no. when you're on the on that end of the whip you don't get to uh, <laughs> you don't get to uh, <laughs> to to make those kind of decisions Ah, community manager. Used to work for CD Projekt Red. Whew, you must have taken a lot of flag, or maybe you left it with when they were still in a had a good good reputation. Uh, where's the other one of those? Oh, Our that one. Yes. So I would. And Neilcor, thank you. Welcome back. Um, yeah, so I would rather say work building something as soulless as SAP and then uh, in your free time you can make that dream game that you want because you can put money aside by uh, selling your soul to be an SAP developer or Oracle or something else. But then uh, spend, the, your, spend your time on your passion. Don't expect that being a developer in a gaming environment would be... Uh, is going to be your passion there of course i mean i can imagine that being part of whoop in the early days would have been awesome right just a small knit group of people like five people friends working together just everyone doing everything just seeing the success must be absolutely amazing but now there are 25 people and i don't think there's the same this is for 12 years wow you can never do anything right yeah and also know someone who's been like all their career at uh, <laughs> at blizzard started as a game master just moved to france as a game master and just grinded it out for several years and just slowly moved up the chain and he's been there for i don't know 25 years or something 20 years yeah 40s but as moved in e3 it's both a great and bad night because of of first person huh <laughs> Quick about I love it. Ooh, first person view was that was that revealed there? Okay. Right. Okay. Interesting. So we are going to get here. We're doing a manifold on this one, I think. Oh, by the way, I never actually got around to explaining what I was doing here. Ah, sorry. Someone must have activated my uh, my rent card. <laughs> ah, not a third person. Okay. One, two. I don't know. I think that I personally enjoy third person more than first person um, and I I can actually uh, I, I can explain I can explain why I do like that friend works for a small tech company that was bought by Epic Games two weeks ago two weeks ago hmm they do some 3d models for Unreal Engine and the owners are so happy they sold out and can get back to the devs again and don't have to run the company nice yeah I, I, I mean a wild guess would be they're not only happy that they can be devs again. I'm pretty sure they're also happy that they don't have to worry about money any ever again and now they can follow their passions. I mean, I would imagine a company that's... If you own a company that's bought by uh, by Epic, I mean, you, you're probably... You're probably good for, uh, for a while. <laughs> that would be my guess, at least. Uh, I used to, uh, the first company I worked for, I owned 0.6% uh, of the company. Now that's not much, but it was still sold at a pretty big, 
fat price, so... Uh, but I left before. I just couldn't stay there anymore. And I'm... I don't regret leaving. But of course it would have been nice to sort of cash out before. Not that it would like be a ha ha, never work again, but more of a... Oh, that's nice. Can buy my first house with that. connecting yep there uh, yeah. I'm happy not to be in the games anymore yeah this is CS at this moment sure I was a GM then an elite GM and moved into knowledge management left in good terms but got out at the right time sounds good it's also been like super cool experience to uh, to be part of it and they 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 were known for having a good culture but of course <laughs> not Activision not Activision Blizzard but just regular old Blizzard uh, oh, these are not hooked up mm, nope Uh, let's see. GMs at Blizzard were great. Always loved to support until they obviously severely under development so people couldn't possibly maintain the same level of service. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what happens, right? thing why I came to develop was just to create things out of nothing with just your brain yep that's exactly that's that's the thing that's that's also one of the things that I would say that um, my kids they need to learn programming because it is it is you can literally create value out of nothing I mean of course if you're if you don't have a it, it's just one of those things that I regret not made oh I just used a I used a parachute damn it um, I always do that. I always regret that I, I never sort of kept up with my development skills. I had some, sort of, I, I had a modicum of development skill, but, you know, they rushed it away. Ah, that's a good location. Okay, everything is wired and hooked up. You had a day job besides content creation before I watched, started watching Twitch. You were full-time. Oh, I am a full-time content creator. I just, I just worked 15 years as a sort of. Ah, I used another parachute. Damn it. Um, worked 15 years as project manager, program manager, line manager, scrum master. Uh, all that crap a um, lot of sort of coaching of uh, coaching and management of developers that's been what I've been doing for the majority of my life but new no, new no, new no, new no, new no. now it's all about them con all about them streams all right I think we got everything hooked up let's explain it and I'll explain it from up here you thought I'd forgot. Alright, so we are from this location. We're going to get 120 iron per minute. If I say per second, I mean per minute. 120 iron per minute in here. That goes into these four smelters that each output 30 iron ingots per minute each of these go in here and become 20 iron plates the 20 iron plates the middle 20 will be split so it goes twin over here and 10 over there so i now have on this belt 30 iron plates per minute and on this one 30 iron plates per minute that goes into these two locations that are each consuming 30 iron per minute over on this side we have a single smelter which 
is producing 30 iron ingots per minute gets split into 15 plus 15 that is where we use where we make iron rods that makes iron rods at a rate of 15 per minute so 15 here 15 here that goes in and gets split and it gets split so that this consumes 10 10 10 so that is 30 and this is 30 so it works it'll eventually uh, saturate uh, here and here and then the middle one will get what it needs and out of that i get the 30 I get in becomes 120 screws per minute out and that goes on a mark 2 belt goes in here 60 in and over here and 60 in and that's exactly what is needed voila 120 iron ore in becomes 6 no 10 reinforced iron plates per minute out all right enough power no probably not <laughs> but we have everyone everything one has a rest nope these do not have recipes they're red and as long as they're yellow they're good if they are red then they're not good what that should not give us damage ah well it did there and all i need now I have a capacity of 250. I just need to go down here. That one was actually intended. <laughs> that parachute. <laughs> enough cables? I think I had enough cables. And then I need this to be a Mark II. Boop. Ah! Seriously? Okay, move the whole thing. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh. Why? <laughs> oh. I mean, ah. Uh. And this, this one's not going to be happy either because it's now the wrong place. Uh, let's on the transport. Ah! No! Wrong button again. <laughs> That's one hell of a delay. <laughs> Ah, it's still not great. Still would like to get it off that side. How do we do that? How do we do that? How do I do that? I guess I have to build one of these. Boom, re boom. Thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Two. Mark two. Can't afford. Oh, that's also incorrect. Uh, I think I'll just do this one and that one.
kind of wasteful. Here. Yeah. Yep. Here. Yeah. I have one left. All right. Well, that's going to be much better very, very soon when I have an automatic production of it. Uh, we're also going to just do sky platforms and, and without a care in the world, we're going to make sky platforms. It will face in the right direction. And let's go here. Seven. What? Why five? Uh, all right. Well, that's not good enough here. I think that when we, once we've built this one, and it works-ish, then it's time for doing exploration because I'd like to find some Caterium. That would be super nice. Come on, build. There. You can't, ex uh, it's very difficult to get the belts to turn the wrong way. If you attach it to something that has a direction, then it will have the same direction. Yeah, Blade Runners, absolutely. Absolutely we want Blade Runners. And that means we need Caterium. Which is definitely not gold, but Caterium. Okay. The hammer is supposed to go there, and that one's supposed to go there. Okay, so that's good. They have a good pokey yoki set up here. E. Sweet. And ready? Nope. There. Go, go, go. Anytime now. There you go. Ooh, I just made it. Sweet. Oh, that was a bit too close. <clears throat> In a sane world, I probably would have uh, built some fences or something around this, but I don't know. I don't think I will. It's faster legs. Yeah, it's just faster legs. All right, so let's marvel at the glory up from up here and then... Uh, Figure out where we want to go next. What is the best thing about it? You can't put it on pause when you need to be... Uh-huh. Well, actually, you can. Like that. Nope. Okay, let's see if things... Okay, things seem to be working there. Things seems to be working here. First one goes that way. The belts are slow compared to DSP. The belts are slow compared to Factorio as well. The trick you mentioned in the video today, I don't think that the shifting is required. No, it's completely correct. You just need to press it. It's actually a toggle now. You know, this actually seems like a pretty good time to take a break instead of waiting five minutes because it's also an excellent place to take a save. Right, things are working. They're looking good. We uh, we just want to make sure that we see these two activate and you are not getting anywhere close to me. So what is the next thing we want to build from here? Well, I think that might be rotors, right? Hey, Lictor, thank you for the tier one and welcome. We are building an army. They're still yellow. They still haven't received enough of anything to uh, to even start working. Is that a Mark II belt between the two smelter? 
Ah, uh, no. There is a Mark II belt here and not even here. Only that is a Mark II and that one is a Mark II. And there's a Mark II between this splitter and that splitter and between this splitter and that splitter. Those are the Mark IIs. Love your stream, here on YouTube. Your voice is so calm and pleasing. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice of you, Orbital. Compliments are always welcome. Hmm. That's our, our massive, massive power plant. Massive power plant over there. Cold. Hmm. Well, I think the next thing is... Let's check parts. Last thing we have is the smart plating. It's going to be the rotors, right? Uh, how much plant material? Uh, let's see. Yeah, some of the buildings are idle. That is, that is foreseeable. Because if you see here, this one splits 50-50. So that means... I get 120 in here, that means I get 60 into the first one and 60 moving this way. It only starts balancing out when this one is full, has its internal buffer set to 100, so only at that point will it be sending, consuming 30 and sending 90 onwards. And then again, it's going to be splitting, if it's come 90 this way, it's got a 45 in, 45 that way. That means in the until it saturates, it's going to be... Um, it's not going to be fully balanced because I'm just not getting enough this way, which means I'm not going to get enough that way, which means these ones are going to be idle and stacking up on the iron plates first. That's just the way it is. No problem. Are the yellow rocks in the horizon on those things? Yeah, I could. But I also think that um, I'll just basically build it here and just start layering things on top of each other. I don't know. It is the manifold way. And Tobin, thank you for the seven months. Can't rain for train to train satisfactory. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait a while because I have no intentions of going train to train. And P and there. And now you can keep an eye on this and see if it balances. I'm going to take a two minute break. Also, I'm going to do a save. That's going to be save number six. Oh, the saves are super quick right now. P there. There. And I will take a short break. I will be back here in two minutes. So uh, don't go away. See you guys back here in two. All right, welcome back. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so we don't think there is a problem. And regarding the purple color, yes, that is probably going to happen or some other color. I kind of like this color scheme. Purple has a tendency to become just a bit too dark in the setting. It looks absolutely amazing. Maybe with some lights, it'll be better. Um, 
Yeah, I don't ever do buses in Satisfactory. Yeah, that's, I don't think a lot of people do buses in Satisfactory. They are kind of clumsy. I'd like to because I, I woke about a month ago, I woke up in the middle of the night and I had an idea for how to do a 4 to 4 balancer. And I th think it's brilliant. How about that? How about that tease? But it requires steel. And I'm like, I was just, I, because I, I, I went to bed, I was like, the, why are we not doing buses inside a factory? And I was like, it's because there is no four to four splitter. That's it. You can't four to four balance. And because of that, you can't do a bus. Because the problem is you're going to have one line. And then when you start drawing off the line, you just have less on that line. And if you have another line, then how do you get those to merge together? And then it's that you start having to do like calculations of going like, okay, I've picked up 300 per minute of this line. So I have 480 left on this line. Can I take, what if I take 500? Oh, I can't. So I have to take something from that line. It's just really complicated. So. Uh, so that's. So that is, it, it's an idea I have. I'm not sure it's going to work, but uh, it's an idea. We'll just take it on the chin here. It's compact. Yes, very much. Much more compact than it should be reasonable. But I don't know if it works. I haven't tested it. It's purely a theoretical construct. So, I mean... We all know how how safe and sound those theoretical concepts are. There, I am happy. Let's uh, just feed these extra much that one and that one so that they at least get going. Cool. Uh, let's see. So the next thing is actually making rotors. Where do we make rotors? Oh, uh, there was a good question. How much power do we have here? Uh, the answer is probably not enough. What I do want is that's going to be that level. So I, I can either do power at this level, which is too low for that one, or at this level. There are no other options. I can only do it at this level, at these levels. So I'm just going to make uh, here because basically I want. I don't know if this is a good idea. Well, I'm pretty sure it's a bad idea, by the way, but. Mm, why do I want to go here? I don't know. There's no point in having them over there. It's much nicer to have them nearby where I actually make the fuel. So, that's the Yeah, so my overall concept about this base is that I want pretty much close to just solid planes and with random holes through them where things are going up and down and... Our intuition is not far off. It's not bad, our intuition. It is not bad. Not a bad intuition we got there. Well, that's good. That's good. Now we can actually move it because, well, it's not working anyway. And where do we want it? Where do we want it? I think we want it out here. It that is correct. No belt feed. That's pretty good. Do I think this is a bad idea? I don't know. I don't think I... I want to keep this open. Ideally, I might want to keep two open because I'll drive a truck here. Ah, 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 driving trucks. Oh, my God. Oh, look at me. I'm such a joker. Driving trucks. Uh, 
It's a good one. Yeah, not the trucks. Think of the kids. Think of the kids, not the trucks. I don't know if I want to go out here. Um, I certainly want to take this out. You don't use blade? What blade? These are the two. And we'll go up to power production. Orbital, I don't have Caterium. I haven't been out exploring at all, so uh, there's no option for me to do that. doesn't matter what's near my base there's a lot of things that are near my base but since I haven't been outside my base that's like ah, it's like stating all the things that are nearby my house it doesn't matter what's nearby if I'm not going out there Is that? I'm gonna fall down if I keep going like this backwards. How many more? Just a few more. That's it. Nope, that's not it. That's it. Oh no! The wires! The wires! And the cables will be the next one I'll whine about. So let's get the cables as well. Here. Okay, so I will power poles. They are a bit silly, but I have to do it this way. Hey, Lictor, that is so nice of you. It's been uh, it's a quiet evening on that front, so that's uh, very nice of you to donate five gift subs to the community. All right, if you just got a sub from, uh, from Lictor, well, can thank him, her, it, they. Oh. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Ta da. <laughs> All right, so let's see. <clears throat> Just keep feeding this. See, the more you feed in here, the longer it takes for it, for you to need to come back. That's the only point. It's, I can either have all my solid fuel stored in in the boxes, or I can have it stored in here. Either way, this this way will minimize the amount of time I, or the amount of times I need to go back and do this. So this is easier. Yeah, 
Yeah, please remember I'm not speedrunning. Yeah. This is uh, this has nothing to do with how much I need. I don't have an expectation that I am going to need however much power this is going to generate, but it is simply a more convenient way to store it because then it will be consumed and it'll last a lot longer. So, except I didn't put it in all of them. No. Eh, well, whatever. All right, flip the switch. <laughs> Five hundred and fifty. I don't think I'm going to use that. All right, Jagen, uh, Jagen, Jagen XI or number eleven. Thank you. All right, Peter's here. Thank you for joining. You have more fuel on in storage? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, I do. Just a bit. Just a bit. Cool. And then um, one thing that you have to do is when you hook up all of this, you really are responsible for making sure that you also fill it up again, because otherwise it's kind of shitty if you uh, come back and then when it runs out, no matter how long it takes, then when it runs out and you come back here and it's empty because you did not bother to fill it up. All right, well, let me see. Oh, four minutes on the lecture thing, so that's kind of running out. Too bad. Pretty rare to find it the same in that fits in all directions. All directions. Cool. I appreciate it. I was kind of hoping we could sort of uh, roll that into something more, but it doesn't seem like it. Um, oh, that's, that's not a good place, that one over there. I'll kind of stay away from that. Do you really shouldn't be uh, be saying stuff like that. You do know that, uh, maybe you don't, but I have I have kids of my own, and uh, so so you saying stuff like that is not gonna get you any kind of uh, street cred. Quite the contrary, because I'm looking at you as if oh that's that's um, so if 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 my if if. It, what is actually worse for my kids? If my kids do something they're not allowed to do, all right, well, recommend it. But if they ask me and then do it when they say no, oh, that's not good. That is not good. Because then they, then there is no, then, then you can't claim innocence or go like, oh, but I thought I was allowed to. Oh, but if you ask and get a no and then do it anyway, that's not good. And tell us, please moderate your language. I Is that not called Skansunge? Well, I mean, if I uh, send you to the woodshed to uh, carve some wooden figures, then uh, then maybe. <laughs> well, they actually don't. And I actually talk, I talked to my daughter and uh, she's, I, I talked to her so how it was when at their mom's. And um, so she was like, yeah, well, sometimes. Uh, her brother, my son, is sometimes just in dinner, just getting up and just not doing what anything, and just uh, like they're like, I was like, huh, he never does that at at my place. And she was like, no, no, not that's true. So, do you, why do you think that? I don't know. And I asked him if he misbehaved, and he was like, oh, sometimes. So like, okay, so why do you do that at your mom's place and not at my place? I don't know. It's because you know that you're not gonna get away with it. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. 
I am so proud of my kids. They're so well behaved and they're polite and they're just, they're very rarely doing things that they know they're not supposed to. They do all sorts of shit that they shouldn't do, but but not when they know they shouldn't do it. But it's funny how different it is when they're at their mom's. Do things you don't want to, then maybe don't, then maybe don't know, but if you say they're not allowed to do things, they're challenging. Exactly, that's exactly the point. Because then it's a very deliberate, they want to test the limits and test the consequences, and then there will be consequences. And, and, uh, but if they are like, oh, I thought I could, and I'll go like, yeah, you knew better than that, but no, you, but you know better, you know better. Oh, that looks like something is not working. That looks like there is a Mark 1 belt somewhere. Oh, yeah, right here, I know. Oop, that was a Mark 1 belt. Oops. All right, so power is restored, and... So again, now another question, if there is another a mod awake, I don't know if there is, but if there is a mod awake, then uh, uh, rotors or exploration? I have, uh, so what I, what I, uh, for the older one, uh, I, I don't have anyone for the older one because my, my daughter never misbehaves. <laughs> um, but uh, my son, it's what it was basically, and I, I like that way more, is that it's much better to not do good things than to do bad things. I, that, that doesn't make any sense. All right, so every day we have some time together where we play games and just have a have some good quality family time where we just like offline fun and uh, like today for example i got a we got a box from kiwico that's like assembly thing so we were collecting a wooden crane and just having a good a uh, lot of fun me and and my son he's nine so um like lifting things and i was expra explaining uh, how the mechanical advantages of pulleys work and you know the you know this father son thing and like if he had been misbehaved we wouldn't do that we would do it another day when he has behaved but i would take away the thing that that we've been looking forward to doing together rather than go to your room or no more you're grounded for a week then just basically go like now we can't do that fun thing we we're planning to do and then when we do these fun things then just kind of remind the thing hey we can do these fun things because things are going well um I, I think that that works really uh, works really well. So it, it doesn't have to be punishment. It's just the punishment is is lack of a good thing instead of a bad thing, right? All right. Thank you, Michael. Awesome. Vote now. Rotor build or explore. So the point of the rotor is the rotors enable us to do. The smart planning, which enables us to do the f the next tier of the or the first tier of the space elevator. Uh, Rascal, it's it's something that takes it takes a while to stick, and it 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 needs a lot of sort of reinforcement. All right, explore. At least a lot of reinforcement in the sense that sort of get into the habit of oh that's how it works so if we if we uh, don't do uh maybe i should have uh let's get some more parachutes just because we're not going to do a, like a massive run out there but just uh just just a little foray out there It was a push hour. Her kids truly rule the house. It doesn't matter what she says because she never follows through with any of the consequences. So the kids know they can get away with anything. And you should actually, yeah, Cyclops, that's exactly the thing. I also have some friends and they are, ooh, Miss Timothy, 31 points. Wow, you really want us to get out there. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I have some friends and they have two kids and it's quite clear that there is an internal competition between them that 
means that they try to get each other in trouble. So it's like uh, he is watching a movie at her room because that's where the PlayStation is or something. So he's allowed to do that. And then she stands in front of the TV because she can stand wherever she wants on her room. And then he pushes her and then they get in a fight. And then they go, like, but she did and she did and he did. And then the, the, the parents there go like, you are at fault you they're 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 being judges and arbitrators of these internal squabbles and go you should not have pushed your sister go to your room and then they just exchange glances and it's quite clear that they look like i scored a point you lost see you next round i was like that is not great that is not you're cultivating a behavior where where the kids are competing to put the other one down that's horrible Ah, <sighs> yeah, we need Katarim, absolutely. Boop. But we have a little poker. That's sibling. Yeah, I am. Um, so my son woke up early this morning and then he, oh, I don't want to go up there. I don't want to go up here. Well, I can just go down again. Um, and then he started sort of teasing and just talking to my daughter a uh, half an hour before they had to get up and and she really wanted to get some sleep and he was just teasing her so i had to talk to him and say if you do that she probably doesn't want to play with you and you really like to play with your sister right so maybe maybe you should say that you're sorry and you don't want to do that again because it would really suck if she thinks that you're really annoying and doesn't want to to play with you uh, because she because you're you're teasing her and he was like mm, yeah okay so he came up with that he would make a drawing for her so he could show her how he liked her like that's that's very nice a uh, lot more shorts than anything else to get a point across misbehave and you would be thrown down the staircase or held underwater for two three minutes oh oh that that doesn't sound good that um oh i i did not get any fuel with me ah Uh, one thing, though, that I have to say when it comes to sort of raising kids is that everyone who ever writes a book about raising kids, what is their statistical background for a, for exclaiming the virtues of raising kids? They have two kids. Maybe they have three. That is not exactly a good statistical foundation for proclaiming to be a, a, an expert. All right. Good night, Michael. Thank you for joining. And, and basically, like, I think that a lot of, um, so, so remember that what works for one kid, one set of kids doesn't work for the next. And, uh, well, I don't think throwing people down the, the kids down the stairs is ever the right option, but there's, um, but it's a hard topic to be expert per expert on because you only have your own couple of kids and then you can look at your friends, but there are different circumstances and maybe what works for you doesn't work for them for a million different reasons so again you're not crafting fabric i know i'm not supposed to craft fabric i mean i might make a few fabrics i can make a few if that's Oh, that's nice of you. Gonna be that soon. Let's hope for the best. Yep. Uh, let's see. No. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to do that, but whatever. Yeah, I need a lot of this for going out here. Pick at me constantly. She was my biggest bully. Yeah, and that's that's like there's not much to do in that case, right? I mean, 
yeah. Well, well, yeah, and congratulations. Cooking with ice, however you cook with ice. <clears throat> it's a wonderful time. And don't worry, you'll get your life back in about 18 years or so. Alright, I need to get this one and then we'll just go out. Uh, I think I have too much crap in my inventory. Is it more like 30 years now? Nah. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> or 30 years depending on the chat. Well, I think you have uh, a bit... I, I think I have a bit of say in it. Yeah, of course, like space between multiple kids. Yeah, that's... Um, that's true. Okay, don't want to get that one. And what else do we need? Uh, this one go away. That one go away. And should we make? Yeah, we'll make some par parachutes because probably a good idea. Oh, I do have beacons. Huh. Raise your kid to be a strong, independent woman and you will have no problems. I don't know if that's the right thing for my son, but uh, thank you for the advice. Nonetheless. Um, nom, 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 nom. Let's eat before going out. So where are we going? I don't know. Do we have any clue where we should go? Nah, not really. We'll just roam a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go Kitarim hunting, but I'm not particularly going like, oh, you just go turn left and then go right and then go up there. But we'll, it's more like um, just see where where everything... I mean, for example, this doesn't seem familiar at all. Oh, well, that's nice. That's a good place to start, see? Oh, there's a thing. Oh, this is where we are. Uh, I think there's something nasty over there, right? There's definitely, there's a spitter up here and there is one or two of the small spiders downstairs. Okay, that should be good. That should be doable. Um, is there anything interesting up there? Probably not. Uh, if I go down, I can never go up again. So let's do that. Whoops. Commitment. That is sulfur boring, but you know, we'll take a bit of sulfur so we can take it home and just investigate it. Data shows this is a mix of sulfide and sulfate oh, minerals. Did I ex it could I be did an not. indication of recent volcanic activity. A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the MAM. Good point. Yeah, better save more than less. Absolutely. Up here there's a and like oh I can also Ah there's a inside there's a um we're gonna need that one. Thank you. I know it's there. Oh it's a red one shit, that's bad. Those are the worst critters of all, for sure. Uh that's uh that's gonna be a whole lot of nope. I, there's no way I can take that. Ow. Let's see what do we got here. Three rotors. Okay, three rotors. We can get three rotors and come back and blitz it. I'm hiding in these bushes. That should be safe. Whoops. Ah. Good. Not how it works, it goes like that. Mm. 
Wasn't that a cartoon rock you went by? I don't know. I was kind of busy. <laughs> the bird is uh, nothing. Nothing about that bird is interesting. You can mush it, but then nothing happens. So. A cartoon rock that I went by. I don't know. I didn't see any. All right. Let's get back up on this one. Uh, that one is a quartz. We can take that as well. Get that research started. This mineral shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve... Oh, that one. Yeah, 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 I can see it. Ha! A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. I can't remember how much I need, but it's definitely more than just a few tabs here. New technologies can be developed based on this new superconductive gold-like element, primarily in power and electronics. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Ooh, a useless uh, Samor. Right? Yeah, Samor. Not enough space. Well. Shouldn't have brought all of this along. Crap. Oh, my precious. Still not useful, correct? But it's mine. And we go in here for the... Oh, I just used the parachute. Because I suck. Come on. Come on. And it's shooting upstairs. I think there's one more in here. Oh, two more. That's... That's more than one. Back up while killing them. That's fine. One more. No more. Whee! All right, so we also need to make sure that we have enough space when we go upstairs and uh, try to tap that one while being bombarded by a red spitter. I like the way that they designed the monsters. They are really dangerous until you start learning some tricks and then they are, well, less. All right, that's one. Good. Data on Ooh, the hard drive Katerium. has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Cool. Okay, so let's uh, figure out where we want to go from here. Is that a thing? Oh, bauxite. Oh, that's kind of shitty. Uh, okay, let's see. Ow! Come on. I should be able to tap it twice. Ow! And it's just better just to mash it with, if I'm this inefficient. Okay. Kill another one of these. Bauxite is not something we actually get. Uh, there was one more spitter out here. Oh, there it is. Yellow spitter. Okay, so the idea was... Someone said that you just go and then... When they start... Go back. Ow! Doesn't work. Ow! Ow! 
Maybe I should just suck less. <sighs> uh, we'll take that one. The trick is to get close to them into doing the knockback attack, then rush in for two hits and repeat. That was kind of what I was trying, but I just not got it yet. Okay, this is where we have, like, this is a super good power location for a late game. Just two vents. Mm -mm -mm. But um, how do we get out of here? We get out of it by that location, which is a no. Or then we just continue this way and see what happens. Oops. I need more Katarium. I think. I don't know how much Quartz I need. Quartz is not particularly interesting if I recall correctly. And... Ow! See, it's... Okay, so... That's another steam vent. You can reach Shimmer. Nope. Same ore has no value. But you know, I'm gonna pick it up anyway. This is where I drop down, I think. Ugh, another one. Oh, and then I need to explode that. Ow! I mean, if I'm gonna hit, hit anyway, they might as well just tank it. The drone distance is set to ultra, but it has always been off in this game. And good evening, Vichu. Did not know you were here. Maybe you just kept quiet. The drone distance is super off in this game. Uh, things that you can see and you get closer and then they disappear and you get closer and then they come back. Like That's not how draw distance is supposed to work. Did you buy the ladder? Nope, I didn't. But I do have a ladder. This is my ladder. Super cheap, easy to work with, uses the same materials that I always have, so pretty good. Ah, uh, that's kind of crowded over here. Probably not going to use that one. I would like to not aggro all three at once. All right. Oh, they are. Are they uh, leeching? Leeching? Okay, you. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are all coming. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's, that's, one is annoying, three is just a bit more than this, what I, what I like. Ah, oh, I got you. Just zigzag. Whee! Whee! And jump. Ah, we got you away from this one, so you're mine. Not enough space for a green slug. Ah. Is that a cave? No, it's not a cave. It's just a thing. Uh, is that Katerium? Nope. It's just boring iron. Right in the... Yeah. Ooh. Come on. Come on. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. There you go. Ow. Just took a bit of damage. Don't care. But I'm getting up here. Woohoo. I'm up. 
I'm out of the ravine. Ravine? Yeah, ravine. So where's our hub? <laughs> hub. I think we'll just wrap around and go home and just look for stuff on our way home. We need, we just need enough to oh, actually find the Katerium. Oh, headbutt Harry. There we go. Not enough space. Do I really need that? No, not really. But you know, it's it's loot and and the fact that it's loot means that I have to take it, even though it's completely worthless. Uh, I have to go that way. <laughs> I should probably have gotten a scanner out here, then we could have at least have gone with a noise device, noise making device. Oh, yep, parachute. Yep, we needed one, uses one of those. All right, so we found a road. A road to maybe to home? Who knows? Would be nice if there was a distance. More of these. I don't know if they spawned more. I just feel that I've seen quite a lot of them. All right, I am hoping that this will lead us back to sort of uh, overlooking our base and not sort of anything. Oh, that was a flying one. Good thing we were jumping. Hey, I see something familiar. Yay! That was a that was a nice little trip. Not overwhelming in any way. Right, let's go back and get some research done. Oh, I got stuck. Ugh. And I want to go for the Katerium. Windows update took two whole hours on my second computer. Oh, luckily it was your second though. So, Katerium. Yes, please. That's a big one. Let's see. New resource added to the resource scanner. Okay, so it's added to the resource scanner. That's something. Let's get the sulfur in. What do we get? That that's the explodiness. Quartz, what do we get here? Oh no! Now I get when I get random recipes, I get all sorts of junk. I'm on uh, biomass and I'm going to be on biomass for the next very long time. What is this? Silica? Hmm. And then crystal oscillator. Power slugs. Oh, we got a yellow power slug. Sweet. I know a lot of people hate the biomass, uh, but I think it's great. Let's see, nutrients, no, that one, is that the healing, yes, ah, oh, okay, kind of expensive, but why is it only three seconds, medical inhaler, I, I gotta get it, I gotta get it, that is the best, that thing should have a sound, <laughs> All right, let's see how much we've uh, actually produced here.
Making walking paths through my bases on is not really my strong suit. Oh, yeah, you know, just uh, probably should have done that in reverse order. I'm just looking if there's something I want to throw away. Uh. Yeah, concrete stacking to 500 is very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, so I am going to make some more rotors. <clears throat> really much more relaxed. I don't really find that that's, I don't really find that there's any problem with it. I think that when coal was not requiring water, then yes. But now that coal requires water, then I feel that I'm I'm skipping the best part of the game to get to the most annoying part. That this doesn't make sense for me. And that should be Boom, good. Up on the alien organs, that one. And then we can, now we can get this, no? Oops. There's, adds the five minutes. Uh, it's also a lot of frames. Oh, and what's this? This is just a, uh, ah, one item hand slot, nice. That's also five minutes, but you know what? I actually want this one first. That's more important. All right, let's uh, put some of the junk. That's junk, that's junk, that's junk, that's junk, that's junk. Uh, I'll take these and make some shots out of them. It's the only game in which I can just create spaghetti because it's so hard to probably manage stuff here without spaghetti. I don't know. Not sure I'm going to agree with that one. That's my Katerium or I'll... Nope. What I will do is I'll make sure that I can actually build some things if I want it, right? So let's see, how do I make those inhalers? The stuff I just dropped. There. Woohoo! Four nutritional inhalers. Yay! I love them. Uh, Jonathan, do, do you do you think I haven't played the game or what? <laughs> I, I I played my fair share. I, I know. I've unlocked everything. So, yeah. Hey, hi there. The main boss system is really working for me. Nice. Did you try it? Nope, I didn't. I can, I, I had spaghetti tonight, so yeah. But uh, the problem is that the kids don't really enjoy it because I want my spaghetti like straight. I don't want it like all curled up. So the, it's kind of crunchy and crispy. So kids don't really enjoy that kind of spaghetti. Uh, but that's, that's the way it has to be. And let's see, my, no, that's not a minor. This is the minor. Katerium, what do we think? 600 meters. Come on! 700 meters. I guess I have to take this one. And I have to make sure that I can at least... Okay, I can make 75 portable miners. I should be good. All right, we're gonna go there because we need it, and uh, we are gonna go all in on the on the Blade Runners. Oops, which one is it? That one, the first one to spawn, obviously. 
Oh, please don't let us go down there again. Damn it. Uh, okay, so we're going to not go down there this time. We're going to go stay up, up top, and then see how we can manage that. Huh. Yeah, that's not it. I gotta have to just continuously sp spam this one. So we have to go all the way around. Ooh, look at that. How did I actually get... I remember how... I, well, no, I don't. I don't remember how to get up there. I remember that we had to get up there, but I can't remember how. Whoop. Uh, oh, yeah. And spam again. 730. Are the other ones somehow gotten closer? No, they've gotten further away. So it's still almost due south. Alright, so this looks like we're going to go down to the coal location. What? Oh, that's kind of crowded. Okay. <laughs> okay. Easy. That's that's kind of okay. Run away, run away. Ah, ah. Not a lot of health left. Ah, damn it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the toilet then. Well, that was <laughs> disappointing. <laughs> yeah, hardcore. Yeah, that's it. We're done. <laughs> what? Four of them? Right there? Right outside of my base. Like, okay. They, that's, they were camping. They were just waiting for me to get out of the PvE zone. And they're like, all right. He flagged, he's flagged for PvP. Kill him. Or PvE in this case. <laughs> well, I got one of them somehow. Maybe I should do this one, yeah? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we'll keep this one here just for <clears throat> for emergencies. And also keep this one in here because, well... Did they go back? All right, try again. They're still there. Yeah, there are upgrades to weapons, but I don't have them yet. Oh, shit. There's still all of them. Alright, that's good. That's good. Come on. One at a time. One at a time. Poof. Take that. One left. Come on. All right, good stuff. Moving on. We're getting closer, I think. Uh, these. Oh, that means there are some... There's someone in here as well, since they aggro by themselves. Yep. Oh, no. Well, that sucks. Yeah, we are kind of puny here. Oh, and there are also spiders. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Hoppa. No, I don't want to get into the poison. Ah! So wait for this one to subside. I don't have any noblesks. I 
I'll go around. I think we can get this one before it does anything. Yep. Oh! Someone was shooting. Oh no! Oh, that's a little uh, spider. Ah! More spiders! Flashlight! That's not a flashlight. Where is it? I can't see a damn thing. What's the key? hotkey for flashlight? B for flashlight. I hear you. Ah ha ha! Look at that. What are we doing here? Oh, this is coming. Okay. Oh, that's only one. Ow! Hmm? Stupid flashlight. There's still more. And it's not that one. It's <laughs> we're actually going completely the wrong direction. But I see a thing that we want. Come on. Ah, bad move. Ah, more. I wish these would actually give us something useful. Okay, and now we can actually f try to figure out where we want to go. Wow, things are really gloomy here. Okay, so 300 meters. I don't know if it's up or down, but uh, I don't think it's in here. This is the coal canyon lake. Oh, I see something. There. Oh, that's not a small one. No, 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 no. That's, that's a bit big. Ow. Ah, uh, that's a bit bigger than... Especially like this, right? Where is it? Oh, it's gone. Thank you, draw distance. Ah, it's gone now. <laughs> ah, I get so hungry. Ah, oh, that's of course. Just give me another one. This is this is not at all panic inducing, is it? No. Oh, it's coming. It has a massive att frontal attack, so just try to dodge to the side. Oh. <sighs> where is my where is my Katarium? Oh, okay, because of course I need that middle of the night. Ah, stop doing that! <sighs> 200 meters. All right. Luckily, 200 meters more of, of this thing, it's not, not at all dangerous. The worst part is all this crap respawns. And why does it have to be nighttime? Oh, oh, there's actually a thing over here, which is protected by a million of these headbutt Harrys. But uh, we'll take those. Okay. 
Okay, this is getting a bit more difficult. There you are. Ugh, it's a bit. Got it. Where's the other one? There. No? Oh, there. <laughs> oh. oh, this is just combat game from start to end. Oh, there's more. Can't see you. Well, if I can't see you, you don't exist. Ooh, a radiator. And leaves. Oh yeah, that's the one. 50 power. All right. All right, that's, that's, that's a thing. Yeah, 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 I know. Go and get it. I hear that. I hear it nearby. I can't see it, but I can hear it. All right, let's try scanning again. What? 200... Mm. I need to take a break, but I can't take a break until we got to the safe place. Uh, how is it? I know, I kind of remember where it is. I kind of remember that it's up top. Oh, frames. I'll take it. Let's try again. I feel it's up there. Hmm. Oh, that sounds not nice. That sounds like someone is shooting at me. Ah! Ah! Seriously! This is a shitty place. What a miserable place this is. I found coal, by the way. Where? Oh, there you are. Uh, screw you. I'm not interested in you. If I can help it, at least. It's up there. It's the sounds in this game that are just... Ah, oh, man. Get all the healing you can find. Yep, get it, get it, get it. Keep scanning. 122 meters this way. I need to get up. Oh, that's a red one. Really? Really, really? Oh, and a something else. It's protecting something useless. We just move on. Ow. Oh, I hear it. Of course. Of course it's one of those. Are you kidding me? Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Keep rolling around it. Oh. 
We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. There's a lot more monsters than last time I played this game. But I'm almost here. I'm almost here. I remember it's up here. And it's... I got it. I freaking got it. Woohoo! We are happy. I'm going to fill my inventory with... Uh, with... Oh, oh, okay. But not right now. Are you coming as well? I'm, I'm way overdue on my break. Wouldn't it be fun that I just backed up and fell over the cliff, fell off the cliff here? Uh, special, no production. It's an equipment workshop. Yes, please. There we go. Yeah, I think I might need to uh, just, just get a change of, of everything. Six of those should be fine. Mainly because that means when I come back here, I can pick up 600. <laughs> That's super cute. Good thing we had this one in our second... Uh, uh, you know what I'm going to do? Screw you, Biters. You're not coming up here. <laughs> I'm staying up here. I'm staying here. <laughs> just make these. You can just build them up. It's a pretty cheap way of building. Uh, I am going to save right here. Seven. Number seven. Okay, we actually only went six minutes over. I felt like it was an eternity. Yeah, container ladders, definitely. Definitely. So this was the this is the place with coal, and do, 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 I wish we'd built the space elevator. Oh, right here over there ish is our home. All right. I am going to just go there and there and there, and I will be back in two minutes, or however long it takes for me to take care of the necessities, and I will be back. Whew. See you guys in two minutes. All right, welcome back. So, all good. And let's, yep, the good thing too, we got a screenshot there. And hello, Kevin. And now I kind of think that I, it might be worthwhile to actually build, what if we build a miner, a smelter, and a box, right? 
Minus Melted Box. I think I like that idea. Mm, except that I now have too much crap in my inventory. Something is pondering attacking me, I guess. I can't see it, though. Oh, there you are. Ah, okay. Here. Here. And... Pick up my... Oh, I can't pick up mine now. And I'll put a miner on this location. And that will go into a smelter. And that smelter will go into a... a box. And then we get a bit of power po power here. So a couple of biomass burners. And let's see, take all of this. Never mind. Never mind. It's all. It's a good idea, except it doesn't work at all because I don't have the research yet. Oh, could I? Could I put down the mam here? Uh, I guess we could. And suddenly we have an entire base built here. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I like that one. Does it work anymore? I don't think that works. No, it doesn't work. But thank you for the five dollar. I don't know. We probably have to disable that. I think. Uh, thank you for the five dollars. Q uh, QCFP. I started playing TSP a few days ago, and your videos have been a game changer. Literally. <laughs> thank you so much for your knowledge. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, Cash Cruise is super nice. It just skips a step. Doesn't do much, but it skips a step. Is also very worthwhile and then let's go to Caterium that one research oh three seconds lovely totally worth and can I do quark wire I can't do quark wire well then they have to uh, da, 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 da. well I could just do a hard drive though I don't know that may be a bit stupid idea Minor. We'll try again. Minor. And it's very deliberate that I don't put any... Uh, uh, there. That I don't put it on concrete. Because if I put it on concrete, then at some point, maybe the concrete will... I'll, I'll confuse myself, which is going to happen. Uh, and then I won't know that this concrete is not actually aligned to the other concrete. And then bad stuff happens. This takes 45. Okay, so this one can be scaled down to... Uh, the 75 cool so that works and then it goes well i mean just goes into a box i guess and then we have a few of these how much power is that actually making uh, we also need now a one of these. 
So we can take... Oh, I can actually make more Katerium myself. Ah, never mind. That's not what we want. We want to... Let's start it at least. Here. And here. And then build a bit more. Alien Carapace. That one's just really nice. Lots and lots of stuff to build. Huh? Oh, not enough space. Oh, uh, that goes away. What's that? We have heat sink. <laughs> How are you going to power them? Like this. All the time, even if it means to build a huge line of concrete. Oh, absolutely. There is only... That's only one way to do it. You have a master location. And that's it. That's... Yeah. <laughs> the one gigabyte hotfix? No, I didn't get the one gigabyte hotfix. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Easy point for the sink. That's a good point. G good point. I forgot that. It's a good point. Nah, I, don't, I like that you have to sort of build your global grid everywhere. It's it's kind of... Well, then you have to figure it out. <coughs> I want it to be, yeah. Yeah, greetings, man. Welcome, or oh, fun, maybe. I must hope so happy that this game runs so well on the Steam Proton on Unix Linux. Ah, nice. Oh, do you guys remember when it when it used to overheat when you had to click and it overheated? Oh man, bad ideas. Uh, alien? Oh, we don't use alien organs, definitely not, because they go. They um, alien organs can be used for healing, but uh, they alien carapace can't be used for anything. The only thing you can use carapace for is exactly this: getting a bit of power out in the wild. Just a little German. Um, we don't speak German in chat. But understanding a bit is not um, exactly the same as sort of. Yeah. Go. Here. Is this a good idea? Probably not, actually. Basically, I just need to fill up with a lot of things. Turned white hot. Nah, just, I mean, it, it warms up, I guess. You can see it changes color now, gradually. As long as it's just... Why two biomass burners? Well, because it'll last twice as long. Pretty simple. Like, these have a specific dual value, right? They, there's a specific amount of, of uh, fuel inside one of these. And if the more I can put into active biomass burners, the longer it'll last. And if I have one biomass burner, then I can only, at best, put 200 of the bio, biofuel in there. But if I put have three bio, two biomass burners, then I can have 400. And three biomass burners, I can 600. And that's just longer time it can run because they'll all run at respectively half the speed or a third the speed uh, of the consumption, so, yeah. Yeah, you don't only have to press it once, yeah. Uh, I love and hate this game in equal measure. Okay, well, I think that's something you um, you should more look inwards than blame the game for. Because if you have a uh, propensity to get so consumed by things, then maybe you need to be a bit careful. Uh, 
Hello, Casanair. All right, let's get this one done. Dun 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 dun, and then we can uh, do something else. I also have to wait for this one to be complete so we can see what uh, new thing. Have you already given up on uh, the old mistress or or what? A new subscriber arrives. Kalen the new gamer, thank you for the Twitch Prime and welcome to the community. Lovely to see a uh, sub in this late hour. Boop. And let's build up one more. And that should be good, right? Here and here. Good. So they are now consuming. They're working fine. What about this one? Uh, what about this one? Two minutes. All right, cool. Then I can take this out. And I think that since we're talking about infinite things, I might as well take... No. Boom. Get this out. Anything else junk that I don't need? Guess I don't need that one. Oh, that's not a lot. I thought I would have way more. Oops, I really shouldn't have done that then. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> I was sure that I would have like tons of those, but nope. Okay. There we go. Has it been 10 minutes since you started the map? No, um, not yet. See, 1 minute and 22. So that's why we're just, we're basically just hanging out here, just waiting for that one to get in. And also we should do production and a workshop. This is a nice place. Look at that. It's just becoming an entire base. Nutritional inhaler. Oh, mycelia. Nah. Nothing of that sort here. Within reach. Come on. There we go. Alright, I think I need to go up here just to take that one and also make sure that... Okay, how do we get this? This must be one of those where we built... A ramp. Do some poking. Hmm. Oops, I jumped too high. Is the other one coming? Nope, not yet. Ah, uh, almost. Okay, I'm kind of in the... Ah, Sekiro! Just, come on, where's my... S yes. Where's the other one? Did it fall down? That's the best way to kill them, is just allowing them to take fall damage. That's the best, most gratifying way to kill these. Alright. Sneak, 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 sneak. Da, da, da. Ah! Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, there's another one. Oh, my guess is you're going to be stuck up there, aren't you? Oh, that sucks. I'll come up to you. I'll probably kill myself. Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, Mage Man, thank you for the 500 bits. I don't know where it is, but... Ah, oh, there it is. I used a parachute, even. Totally superior. Alright, let's see. Uh, hey, Boromir! Alright! This is the closest we've been. 
there are now three events <laughs> closest we've been today uh march i was a junkie for those youtube to video was still i'm oh thank you i mean there's always one tra type of train that's always nice but um the trains in fact in satisfactory are absolutely horrible the tracks are impossible to lay straight and or well not straight but curved thank you mark the young thank you for the 200 bits all right, that should be the ma'am time. Iron wire is really nice. Stitched iron plate is also... Stitched plate is really nice. Uh, this is sh sh crap. So, either the iron wire... Hey, race it to my wrist. Woohoo, six months. All right. Hey, the hype train. There is actually going to be a hype train today. I didn't think it would be... Uh, Stitched plate is really nice. And iron wire is really nice. Uh, they're all really nice. Especially combined. They are exceptionally nice. Alinda, thank you for the four months. Oh, Mage Man. Oh, wow. That's so nice of you. Five gift subs. All right. It is actually leaving the train. I think both are great, but I just built this one. So it kind of sucks to see this one right now. Uh, this one will give us something. I think I'll take this one because I don't really need this right now. Because I, I have built what I need. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And thank you, Miss Timony, for 300 bits. I'll research when I get home, right? Oh. Alright, let's clean up the mess here. That goes out. That goes out. That goes out. I'm just filling up my inventory now with these so that I can at least build them when I get home. Okay, and then it's time for us to run on home. Here. And this one. It might never be sort of relevant anyway, but it's, it's nice to know that it's it's an option here. It's just so bad if we come home and then we've realized that, oh uh, man, we are just missing a few. There. All right, cool. That's it. And now I need to go home. So where am I go? Where are we going? That way. I bel I could go through that one. I believe there is a way that does not get me down there, and I don't want to go down there. Don't forget Katarin Research. Already did it. Oh, man. All right. Oh, by the way, hype train. Ooh, don't forget the hype train. We want to get to. Oh, I, I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. Can't see it. I can't see you. Where are you? Oh, there you are. All right, cool. Uh, there we go. Okay, so. And I can't walk this way because there is a an alpha over there that will just absolutely destroy me. All right. Hey. Marty. Marty, thank you for the 1500 bits. <laughs> it really doesn't like the grass. All right, so... Um, Just Marty. Okay. Cool. Marty. Thank you. I don't want to go down there. Ooh, but there's a thing. <sighs> Say that the chains to update 4 have all of your biomass gens running at 100% each using four biomass without a battery it's such a waste it absolutely is not because they changed it for everything except the biomass 
All right, one minute uh, left. If anyone wants to hype uh, to get this hype train, what are we at? We are, I guess it's Mage Man who, uh, Mage Man and Marty are the ones who are in the lead. Yeah, many hours for time. <laughs> appreciate that. I appreciate the support. Appreciate all the support. Yeah, this is not the right way. I can't remember the right way to do this. Um, to get home. This is sort of the official way down and up. It's also where we came from. So what if we go this way instead? Huh? That's like a, a path, so that might be safer. All right, 33 seconds. All right, I guess it's not going to be tonight. Ah, down there. Okay, cool. That's where we are. And then, ah, now I remember. Okay, there's a safe way. I go here, and then I go in through that one. Run through that. Okay, nope, nothing. All right, thank you for the people supporting. Thank you, Mage Man. Thank you, Marty, for your support. Choo choo. Yes, indeed. If there is a mod available, can please uh, get some information for our... Uh, hype train locations and such. So let's say in retrospect, I probably did not choose the safest route there. If we look at the how simple it is to get back. And we are pretty much back. All right, I'll take this one on the way back. Yay, look at that. Follow the path, absolutely. Really? We've been out fighting biters left and right and then we take damage from this. All right, we are gonna focus on getting the Blade Runners going. Plus six inventory slots. That's also nice. But oh, the zip line is there. Nice. Uh, Caterium electronics can't afford, but we will. We will though. Oh, let's take this one. Uh, nope, I guess not. Anything else I don't want to carry right now? No, not really. So, Forge Biome. No. No, I'm not going to do stuff like that. I, I don't really know how I'm going to do it, uh, to be honest. And uh, it'll probably be something scattered all over the world because that's kind of how it, it seems to work the best. That you basically want to build something and then you find a location that can support it. Yeah, <laughs> Fort will blow my mind. Yeah. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Um, it was just one of those things that I've been sort of preparing for as a little bonus extra thing. I still have to work on my... I, I have to spend eight hours recording and then afterwards editing eight hours down to ten minutes of time lapse. I've recorded the first five hours and then uh, then I kind of got, yeah, got distracted. And uh, yeah, so. Sugar cubes are really bad, but uh, yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. I haven't really decided. I'll get this one since it's three seconds. I want the Blade Runners. I also want the zip line, but that's a five minute thing. There, that's the one. Five minutes, that's the one. Woohoo! Okay, so uh, in those five minutes, we can. <clears throat> hmm.
The abusive girlfriend has treated me quite all right, except that um, she uh, deleted my or corrupted my save game. So that was less than ideal. And that's not what we're going to do. We are going to we're going to th think about something. All right, I have an idea, and it might be a bit wacky with twenty five minutes left. What if I do that? And what if I try to make to make the what's it called the elevator, space elevator? Can we do that? Let's see, what does it take? It's like it takes a full inventory. I need some of those and some of those. There you go. That's all of those needed. Isn't it? No, not quite. Almost. Extra hour is not going to happen. It's a normal work day. I have to get up in six hours to uh, bake bread for the kids in the morning. And uh, yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of a lot of things. Here, that one. And I also need to get up and record this thing for tomorrow. Uh, let's see, what did we... Oh, this one. Only one that hasn't run out yet. There, we'll put some of these in. How's our situation here? Eh, only 10 coupons, it's not much. I spent 200 on a stand mixer to bake my own bread. That seems like a lot. How, wh what does it do? Where should we build our thing here? Where do we want it? Do we even have any idea where we potentially could want to want, want to want it? <laughs> uh, man, that might actually be the biggest issue of just trying to figure out where would be a good place to build because we're kind of getting a bit crowded here it could be out on that part right With dough, you put in the greens into a bowl, turn it, and 10 minutes or so you have a bread dough. Okay, I don't have a $200 thing, but it. I also only take... I mean, it, it takes two minutes for me to make the dough. Water, yeast, two types of flour, bit of oil, bit of salt. Stir it. There we go. Put it in the fridge. Ready tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, just... Grab it with a spoon because it's like it's very liquidy. So grab it with a spoon. Swish, 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 swish. Then eight buns. Perfect. It takes le way less than ten minutes. Yeah, this is not enough. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six is not even close. Even seven is not close. I mean, then again, I'm not making like the most advanced things that's ever been been baked. But then again, don't think they'll do that in a automatic thing either. And let's see if this is even possible. I don't think it is, but we can we can try. I can't remember how big it is. Yeah, it's too big. Way too big. Ah, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Actually, really, really? Really, really? Okay, so let's see. This is going to be one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. This is going to be the middle one here. And then I'll have a...
This one is just for alignment, and then I'm going to do it the other way as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, this one. And that one will also be just for alignment. Then I guess that would be an okay location. So you're trying to get it to show some blue lines towards the stuff over here on the either side. Come on, blue lines. There, I got one blue line. There. <laughs> I think it really wants to have nine by nine. Oh, it's still red hot. Oh yeah, th this is the cool animation. You only get to see it once. That is... Oh, I love this one. Such an impressive animation. And like this is an animation that you only get to see once per playthrough. This is one of the things that I I love about Satisfactory is that they and then this one shoots off, right? Does it? Or is that only that's the cantina. Uh you only get to see it. See, the thing is like I need fifty of these. But excuse me, why set up a giant production flame? I'm gonna do a. Uh, there's something that Ca Mr. Casinier, back when he was Casinator, uh, taught me. I don't know if he strictly taught me it, but he showed it and I was like, ah, that's pretty clever. He is pretty clever. And that's uh, actually to do these kind of things. I'm, I'm always going way overboard on the automation, but the fact of the matter is, I don't really need it. You don't need to do that level of automation. Katarium. And let's do the zip line. Okay, now we're doing a few things at the same time. Okay, so we need 100 of these to start the next research. Yes, and then we need something else to get the Blade Runners. Hey, there he is. Ah, I wasn't sure if you were here. So, always try and complimenting people. You can either try insulting people or complimenting them. Then uh, you can sort of drag them out of uh, of their lurking. Yeah, so the point is that if you need 50 of those, then I I would sort of have a tendency to go, all right, I'm going to need a, a reinforced iron plate production, like build a giant one, I need road to production, build a giant one, I need smart plating, build a giant one, and then you build 50 and that's it. Like, oh, oh. Hmm. But if you just build 50 of each and then there you go. Get that one. Five minutes. And here. Come on. Blade Runners. What do we need? There is an update available to download. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be logging out and downloading things right now. How many did we need? I can't remember. Maybe 100 or something? Oh, yeah. That was none of them. It was not because of that. It was because of the rotors. Of course, I need them later. Later on, but it's blocking my uh, my progress moving forward. So, instead of building everything in a grand scale, then start by building. Wee! Wee! I'm so happy. Wee! Wee! Yeah, I'm gonna say that for the rest of the playthrough. Wee! 
Ah, oh, man, it's just such a big difference. Ah. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. It's great unless I fall down, but pff, I mean, that's never going to happen. Start by building. Whee! Yeah, exactly. I mean, I kind of got a bit carried away. Uh, and now we build one of these. <laughs> there ish. Okay, it takes a lot more space than I, I like, but. I don't actually think I need it. Uh, this one makes smart plating. So basically all I need is just put that one in. And... Uh, where's my power poles at? There. Okay. Who's saying those noises? Oh, you are. Mm -hmm. All right, so we built a few of these, and as soon as we get a few of them. So how long? Oh, yeah, we, we haven't, we don't know about the zip lining, though. There, that's enough to get it started. And that is one, one to one, right? So that's fine. Go away. Yeah, so two per minute. It's not exactly a lot, but you know, oh, what's our power like? That's eh, fine. What's the power consumption? I don't know. Now it's more. 15 to 45. That's okay, right? Is it? Are you kidding me? Go away. Yeah, it's fine. And that means I get four per minute. That means I need 50, so that's 12 minutes. Are we okay? We're exactly okay. <laughs> exactly. And is this done? Nope. All right, see, that was the point. Uh, except I also need to handcraft all of these in the meantime. Hurry up, hurry up. We just want to get, so we can we can say that the goal of this episode was to launch it. Yeah, so a question for my YouTube series. I think I'm going to cut out the... Um, um, I'm going to cut out the... The exploration part, right? Why are we handcrafting everything? Because it's the simplest way to get uh, shit done right now. I have no idea how zip lining works. So, no idea. Never seen it, never tried it, never heard about it I just I'm about to research it so I have no idea brand new okay so why am I handcrafting because right now I want to get 50 of each am I gonna spend two hours making a nice big fat crisp design for it or am I gonna spend 10 minutes handcrafting and chatting along so that's why and why are we handcrafting everything I'm I'm doing this so we can get upgrades. Once we unlock the next tier, then we can start start using all the crafting resources and put it in. Are you holding space? Nope. I mean, I could have something else in the space bar, but, but, but I don't. Yeah, I don't care about the power, so that's, that's not the issue. Boop, good stuff. We have this. What does the elevator do? The elevator is kind of an advanced research facility. Can I? Yeah, I can put things in. Yeah, nothing happens until I get all of them. Okay, so there's no point in. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. And you should be done. Zip line. So let's build one of those new equipment. That is definitely not. This is uh, definitely a thing. Oh, um. Right, since we're running so damn fast. It's not a big deal running all the way over here. God damn it. <laughs> just just the timing. Just the Alright, back up. Back up.
that one. And you know, let's take these as well. So to the question, why are we handcrafting everything? I would also say, we are, I don't feel like we're handcrafting everything. Quite the contrary. There are very few things we're handcrafting. How did my base get so messed up? Well, we'll fix it later on. At some point, I'll just pave the whole level and just go, done. We also need to take all of this up to somewhere, but... Um, what was it? Oh, yeah, it was the research. It was researching out. So, Caterium inventory. Yes, please. Go here. And let's see. What about that zip line thing? Zip line. What does it take? It takes one Xeno Zapper. That makes sense. And now we can make a zip line. I think I'll make two with just one. Oh, not enough space. Uh, I don't know why I built two of these. Okay. So let's try and see what it does. Let's see if we can get up on that line. Oh, this line has actually been... Uh, yeah, that sucks. I don't know how it works. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. Now I have to use this for getting down again. i got to kill this one and it sucks. Yeah, I know. I know. Quit whining. But I wanted that at the corner so that I can zip line down. Should we try? Oh, okay. So Not super comfortable yet. Let's let's just say it like that. Let's see if we can go upwards. Slowly, but yes. I honestly think this is more of a gimmick than anything else. I mean, I suppose that you can build, design your base to sort of accommodate for it. I mean, I, I suppose you really need to uh, design for it. I don't know. I, I like it from the perspective that uh, it would be, it's pretty cool to have like a platform and then have sort of the corners going down. Oh, it's rushing. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I mean, it's also about finding out what things would may be fun to try. Like it kind of seems to be that this is almost like a given that if you have a platform, you really want to have like something along the edge. Which means platforms can only be 12 by 12. That's another... Oh, no. Okay. I, I was... <laughs> um, I was hoping. Yeah. I don't know. Can I just...
Bunny hop. It's getting a lot, getting to be a lot of things you have to click to get somewhere. All right. I can't get that one. Ah, oh, okay, I can. Easy peasy. Well, that's less than ideal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I tried running, I tried jumping and it didn't work. I don't know. I, I, I'm not totally sold right now. And then the question is when I get up here, then I have to make sure that I actually jump because I would have been dead if I'd fallen down. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 yeah. it's cool. Uh, not very good. It's kind of my conclusion at this point. Maybe I'm just not really getting it. And we'll, we'll try it. And if, if people have good ideas, by all means, let me hear them. But uh, right now, I'm just... I am not overwhelmed. Oh, I can't take them out because what? Because I have crap in my inventory. Uh, that one, go up. Oh, my cilia is still not there. Let's get a few of these. Ah, oh, that's good. We can get six. Wall power poles. Okay, yeah, I can imagine. Um, And I, I guess you also have to design for it. If I'm, and now I'm just thinking about how, right? So, for example, you could make an opening and then have a um, a wall socket right above it. So when you fly up, you just immediately land right there. So you can definitely design for it, and that's something we uh, we, we will have to figure out. If we can find some cool things, that would be well cool, obviously. All right, here we have another. Pocket dimension, thank you, perfect. Pocket dimension has been inflated. Why do we always not have any of those? 39, I had eight already, so I just need two more and then we're good to go. Two more, one per minute, four per minute, should be good. Yeah, the hover thing, yeah, but that's also like level eight or level nine or whatever that's do you like the new deterministic jump pads um, yeah yeah I think I do I did they're just not the same and you know me I, it takes a while for me to sort of come around to new things so uh, <laughs> right now I'm gonna be like uh, I can't do it the way that I used to but uh, but I think it's it's a good change there all right it is time for us to uh, uh, get our get our hacks on. Oh, I fell down. Oh, I'm gonna get ah. Oh, Blade runners are so nice. Okay, launch. Probably should have been um, saving before. Yes, I disable fog. Uh, Jeff showed me a just a line to add to the engine.ini file, and it worked. So uh, all 
don't know if anyone told you before, but the Factorio Jumpstart base blueprint doesn't work anymore in 1.0. I can guarantee you that's not the case. Hey, yours. In 1.0, that means since the launch, everyone who's watched it, that's been a, I don't know, 50,000 views on it. Uh, so... Doesn't work. Very specific. Yeah. Pretty sure it works for everyone, so... Hello, yours. And I guess we are here. Alright, so what we can do now is the final thing. Now we can say, hey, what did we do today? We built this weird platform. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, I really like the idea of the 12 by 12 platforms. Let's see. Um, weird platform for... What's it called? What's it called, actually? Yeah, reinforced iron plates. And then we built that one. We did a lot of exploration as well. And uh, now we have new research. Oops. Unlocked a lot of research. So that's coal power, vehicular transport, and basic steel production, and even advanced and improved melee. That's the one we want. We want to see no bashes. Yummy, yummy. And uh, that's a really good one. Hyper tubes, even. A uh, bit out of reach. This is Mark III. Yeah, so the first ones you get is Improved Melee. Yes, please. Xenobashers. Xenobashers and Blade Runners. Then you're just golden. Why would that be better for Symmetry? Don't get that. So you have a middle. I also have a middle. It's just an intersection. I don't, I, I don't think I want a middle. So, I'd rather have it symmetric. Uh, I'd rather have it an even number thing, I think. Does it even for improved performance or just one? Uh, I don't think it improved performance. Quite the contrary. Uh, not if you do walls and doors. Okay. Oh, okay. Alona I, I get, I get, I get it. I get it. So, that's probably going to be... No. This is going to be the first one. And then that one's probably going to be the next. Cool. All right, so I will be back with this, more of this, on Friday. If you use Tux, it'll fix everything. <laughs> fix everything. And I still haven't, I still don't have an idea about the concept of what the base is going to look like. Right now, it looks exactly like I always do, like random platforms raised and just in the middle of everything. So we're going to have to think a bit about how we want things to look because that's... Uh, before we get too far, but uh, yeah, not right now. Cool. So I will see you guys uh, maybe on Friday, but tomorrow is Factorio Day. Also, if you are not familiar with it, I have a YouTube Let's Play of this. So if you didn't really watch the whole four hours or sort of what well, then tomorrow, there'll be a, let's say, 45 minute episode that sort of does all the essential things of what we did today. Hopefully. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Uh, it's been awesome. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that to see you... Uh, Next time we're streaming. Good night, everyone. Take care and stay effective.